Damn, Smoogie. Your back That's is against the, the wall. Of this case of the killing game itself. Well, Tsumugi. Well, what? Are you the mastermind? Refute me. Yes. What a scorching hot twist! My hand holding the detonator is tensing up. Don't get tense. C -c Calm down. Daddy, please stop this. Go back to how you used to be when you loved us so so much. How I used to be was more suited to a different story than this one. Huh? What? Basically, your story doesn't matter. I can watch this exciting development. Well, Tsumugi, are there any flaws in Shuichi's logic? If so, then please tell us. The flaws? There's a bunch of flaws all over it. Then where? Point them out. Then explain. Y you can do it. You can do it, Tsumugi. Even if you cheer me on, it's not like that. I didn't do it. It's plain to see. Fight back, Samugi. Come on. You can do it. You <laughs> Fight can back. Do it. Daddy, you're tensing up again. I still want to live, so please don't push the button. Samugi, please just say something. If you don't defend yourself. It's Junko and Oshima. What? What? Been her. No, it hasn't. Has it? No, it hasn't. Has. Has. I guess technically. Well, not really. The first one was Junko. The second one was an AI Junko, but that AI was put in by a. By a. a, a what's his fucking name? God damn it. Hajime's other half. Eh. So you can say it was Hajime, technically, but you know what I mean, I, I guess. In the Hope's Peak killing game, and in the Jabberwock Island killing game, Junko and Oshima didn't participate. She controlled the game from outside. Even if it's boring or repetitive, she's always the mastermind, isn't she? Then it's like that this time, too. It's gotta be Junko again! Junko and Oshima is dead. She's not part of this killing game. You're wrong. She hasn't been eliminated. She's... It's all Junko's doing. This killing game is her doing too. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Cause Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is... Cause Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is... <laughs> what the fuck? Daddy, please don't get so excited. Look at our cute faces! Can you really bear to be without us? Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is what? Okay, time for a commercial break. What? No, it isn't! See? We're a good comedy group, too! So please, don't... No! No! Both of them! <laughs> what? Because Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is right the fuck here. Eh? <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? You're supposed to be dead. Even if nobody was waiting. Even if it makes you go, what? Again? The diva of despair takes the stage once more. Junko and Oshima, the 53rd. The, oh, the new <laughs> ultimate despair? <laughs> there you have it. Once again, the mastermind is Junko and Oshima. Okay. All right. Something I gotta say here. So, early in the playthrough, early, early in the playthrough, I said there was three things I knew about this game. One was the first trial. The second one was that Karumi dies. The third one was the first spoiler that I got before I can even like really do anything with the game. And that was someone told me that just right off the bat, someone out of nowhere just told me that 
Samugi was the mastermind, and that Kaede didn't fucking kill Rantaro. And then I got mad about it, because what the fuck. Now, even though I was told those, I didn't know how Samugi was involved. I just knew that she was the mastermind. I didn't know... Fuck it. I didn't know, uh... Like, the truth behind Kaede's thing, like, how that would that would be possible, right? And fucking... Even if I did know those things, well, even if I wasn't even spoiled on Samugi, right? It's, like, probably one of the most obvious things ever. <laughs> the character who's so plain and barely does anything, just fucking, like, in the background most of the time, is the mastermind. Come on, Samugi is like such a background character, it's not even funny. Also, the fact that both she's a cosplayer and Juko is like the ultimate fashionista, come on, kind of go hand in hand, let's not play ourselves. And then there was also people who joined the stream before, I don't remember who it was, but someone got excited and they're like, hey man, what do you think about, uh, what do you think about Samugi, huh? Or what do you think, hmm, you should really hang out with Samugi. And I'm like, Okay. And then they also said that, did, don't you know that Kaede didn't do it? And I'm like, all right, well, that's, well, that's super spoiler. It was like back during chapter two or some shit. So even, even if I didn't know these things, I still would have got spoiled. So what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, I knew about, I knew about Samugi the whole time. I wish I fucking didn't. But now that that's out the way, I don't know what's gonna happen. I didn't know about Rentaro. I didn't know about his survivor thing. I literally just called that one. I still like Samugi though. Samugi's still somewhat fun. She's fun, but also boring. <laughs> so, are we saying that the 53rd is... Did her plan somehow succeed into like, putting her mindset into other people. Because that was her plan at Jabberwock Island, was to take the remnants of despair and to, like, implant herself in them. What's the matter? Aren't you... Sumugi Shirogane? Our friend who survived with us? <laughs> Sorry about that. You can go ahead and forget about Sumugi Shirogane. Because I'm just a character. You know, a lie. Oh shit. Sorry to all her fans out there. If any of you even exist, that is. <laughs> uh, uh, so it's not it's not Junko Inoshima. It's just someone Okay. Alright. I think what I'm understanding right now is that Samugi this whole entire time, Samugi was never a real person. It was someone that was manifested by someone, you know, by someone who has taken the name as Junko Inoshima the third, and they had the ultimate cosplayer ability. So they made up their own character called Samugi and fucking basically just lived the double life. Samugi Shiragane was nothing more than a cover for me, the mastermind. That would also make sense why the ultimate cosplayer gets the cospox or whatever, right? <laughs> Calling her your friend? Ugh, it's laughable, really. Really, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> uh, are you serious? You're the mastermind behind this? But why? That face and that voice. It's just like... Junko Enoshima. I know, right? Oh, does it make you fall into despair? <laughs> well, does it? You know, for the longest time, I liked, I really liked Junko, right? Like, Ju my history with Junko is very interesting. In which, I was like, man, she's a pretty okay villain. I like Junko, right? And then, and then play Dangarapa 2, I'm like, man, Junko, you're a really good villain. What the fuck? And then, you play fucking Ultra the Spirit Girls, and you're like, wow, Junko, you really did a, did a lot of things, huh? 
and then you watch the Ultimate Despair arc, and then you're like, oh, Junko, you're fucking terrible. <laughs> my, my fucking, my timeline of Junko was like, man, Junko, you're cool. And then once I watched the ending of Despair arc, I'm like, oh, I hate you. I absolutely hate you because you're a villain. You're just fucking terrible. But now I'm back to liking Junko again because she's a great villain. No, that's not possible. Junko Inoshima is dead. But why did you call yourself the 53rd? Because she's not the real Inoshima. As history repeats itself, so does Junko Inoshima. Yeah. As you can see, I am a perfect reproduction of Junko Inoshima. So, you're just a freak pretending to be Junko Inoshima, huh? No, a perfect reproduction. Perfect reproductions are exactly the same as the original. Her logic is impossible to follow, much like the real Junko Inoshima's. Whatever it is, you're the actual mastermind of this killing game, right? I'm getting a lot of, uh, a lot of Dapio vibes here. <laughs> so if we kill you, then that'll be the end, correct? Stop, Maki. Now's not the time. Say mean things like that. Besides, killing me never ends the game. It never ends the game? What do you mean? I also gotta like how Junko kinda like, well, it's not the real Junko, but even though she's still like more mature, right? You can definitely see some age has happened. She's like an adult instead of a teenager. She's bluffing. Let's just kill her and get it over with. Wait, if force is necessary, it should wait until after we see what she... No need, Kibo, because this class trial is over. What? It's already over? You killed Kaede, and Monokuma covered it up with a false narrative. The class trials are rigged, and this whole game is illegitimate. I gotta say, I did not expect Samugi to be a Junko, right? I was expecting that Samugi was just like kind of a pawn, like a uh, like a like a right hand man, and someone else was controlling Monokuma somewhere. Oh, that right. Yeah, I definitely messed that up. Sorry about that. So? So? Is that all you have to say? The viewers won't accept that kind of apology. You gotta stop the killing game! Huh? The viewers? Um, it seems like you're on the wrong track, so let me explain. Okay, so first, I'll start with the event that inspired me to plan this killing game. That was about the time the meteorite impacts started intensifying. Did she just start some big story on her own? I knew of Hope's Peak Academy's gopher project, and my inner Junko told me... Crushing the gopher project, humanity's last hope, would be the perfect despair. That's when I took over the killing game I devised. Okay. I forced those selected as humanity's last hope to play my killing game. And then I took the name Tsumugi Shirogane and sneaked in among them. Did Kokichi know about this? Wasn't he a remnant? He was never a remnant. He was your comrade, right? <laughs> comrade? Oh Inoshima my god. Comrade. What? <laughs> did she did she change to a younger Junko? Wait, what just happened? It's like you don't need a remote after you've thrown out the TV, right? The remnants of despair are just a bunch of despair fanboys and fangirls. I'm confused. She can change into wait, she what? <laughs> she can she can change into an older Junko. She, a fucking Samugi and then a younger Junko? <laughs> what? But I am despair itself. I am a god of despair. Kokichi was just one of my believers. A god wouldn't be comrades with one of their believers, right? Wait, so Kokichi was a remnant? I thought that was just kind of, you know, them assuming he was a remnant. Wait, but how the fuck is he a remnant if he was the leader of like a fucking, a group that did nothing but harmless pranks? Then Kokichi didn't know your true identity either. <laughs> what a hopeless existence he led. 
To the end, he had no idea the object of his worship was right under his nose. I, I don't care about your story. Tell us about the people watching. Who's this killing game being shown to? Where are the survivors of humanity? Oh my god, let me let me find out that there's no survivors of humanity and she's just like she's like, oh no, I'm just watching it because I'm I just like touching myself to it. There's nobody watching. Huh? We were the last 16 people alive, you know. Who could be watching? Humanity is gone. No, you're lying. If this isn't being shown to anyone, why care so much about rules? You're the one who keeps talking about making the game interesting. For whom? That was just a part of my perfect reproduction. You're what? I just perfectly reproduced my own killing game is all. Just like the old Junko. The original was meant to be shown, so that's how I made mine. You just wanted to recreate the past killing game. And that's it? Yep, that's it. There are no survivors of humanity. Things are just as you recall. That is the truth of the Ultimate Academy killing game! No, that's wrong! Oh dear! I am so surprised! <laughs> what the fuck, Sabuki? Maybe we all remember that there's no one left out there. But how do we know our memories are real? What do you mean by that? You think your memories are wrong? There's something that's been bothering me about our memories. Hmm. Junko has V in her right eye and three in her left. I thought they were both V's. I'm not gonna lie. Here, I did notice point. she had like a pattern in her eyes. I just thought they were both the same. Let me let me get a good look at her. This book contains years of research about Hope's Peak Academy. Nothing would indicate this book is a prop. I believe the information here is accurate. But there's a lot written in here that differs from our memories. What is different? To know that for certain, I'll need everyone's help. I want you all to tell me everything that you remember about Hope's Peak Academy. We just need to talk about what we remember from Hope's Peak? Okay. Um... So it started with the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Okay, I, I'm still confused as to where Suichi's going with this. What's missing? That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy, inspiring wars and terrorism around the world. It would not be hyperbole to say that event brought despair to all mankind. Mm-hmm. Checks out. And it was all caused by a single high school girl. Yeah, it was me. It was all caused by a single high school girl because the one person that can stop her was all like, No, don't tell people I'm gay. Like, oh god, I still will never get over that. That's probably like the worst thing that ever happened in this series. It's like, here's this one person that can stop her. And she's all like, if you stop me, then I'll tell everyone that you're gay. And he's like, no, don't do it. And I'm like, come on, she's killed people already. Oh, it is a three in her other eye. Oh. It just stands for a. Uh... Oh, in my mind, I always thought that version. Oh, I thought that V three just stands for like version three. But it's a five and a three. Fuck, cause she's the fifty third. Junko Enoshima enrolled in Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate fashionista, but my real identity was the ultimate despair. In order to cover the world in despair, I put my plans... Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up here. What doesn't add up? Huh? I detect no discrepancy in my memory base. Yes. Everything we just said is just like we remember it. But it doesn't match what's written in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. What's written in the fucking what? What are you talking about? I'll determine exactly why later, from now on, I need to identify the discrepancy. So you gotta play? Spot the difference! Point out what everyone is mistaken about in their memories of Hope's Peak Academy! I, I want to discover it myself before someone fucking spells it out for me. Okay. Found in the Ultimate Supreme Leader Research Lab. Afterward claims it was compiled to several esteemed researchers, however, it contradicts the memory of Suichi and Maki received from the flashback light, the key passage. Pause of the most biggest 
tragic event in human history was the ultimate despair. The term ultimate despair can refer to both the group and the events caused by Inoshima. The group? In order to plunge the world into despair, ultimate despair plotted to kill. Okay. So, our memory is that it was caused by one single purpose, but the book said that there was a group beforehand. I just thought that, you know, it was... <sighs> We're really going that specific with it? Alright! Time to play some Gun Gun Run by Trivia! Is it because they didn't mention Mukuro? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy. Yes, that's true. Inspiring war and terrorism around the world. Mm-hmm. Cause of all that despair was just a single high school girl. That's wrong! One high school girl started the tragedy, the ultimate despair. Junko Inoshima. At least that's what I remember. But that's not what this book says. Ultimate Despair doesn't just refer to Junko Inoshima. It refers to a group and the movement that came after. To put it simply, there's more to Ultimate Despair than Junko Inoshima. Yeah, I thought that was pretty common knowledge. This is the first time I've heard about this. Wasn't Junko the Ultimate Despair? No, I mean... I mean, there's Mukuro, there's the kids, there's also all the remnants. I'm pretty sure besides Mukuro, she didn't have any followers before Hope's Peak. Well, I, get, I say before that, but the kids were her followers before Hope's Peak, weren't they? Damn it. Hmm. Did it mention anything about the, uh, about the reserve students? That's what I recall as well. That label should only apply to her. Coincidences sure are scary. Everyone misremembered the same thing. Coincidence? Misremembered? No, it's not a coincidence. I know there's a difference in these memories. And that's not all. There are other discrepancies I'd like to point out. Ugh, does it even matter? I'm bored already. Just shut up. So, let's continue where we left off. Junko resorted to different tactics to cover the world with despair. The killing game between the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, for example. They were locked up and forced into the killing game by the ultimate despair. But boo-hoo! When I, the one who started it all, died, events were set in motion. But Junko, people die when they are killed. And the world began to move towards restoration. Then the fight between the future foundation and the remnants of despair raged on. But the worst case scenario was avoided. Yay! A happy ending. Not yet. There are more points that conflict with the history. I'll point those out next. Okay, what other points were there? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history happened because Junko had prepared countless ways of spreading despair. Like the killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy. They yes. were held prisoner by the ultimate despair. Yes. And forced into the killing game. Yes, they were. Oh, I have some bad news about that. Hmm? The events that my death set in motion are only now reaching their climax. So the remnants of despair in the future foundation are still fighting, but- oh, Wait, no. what? No! We've avoided the worst of it. The remnants of despair and future foundation, they both existed, right? Yeah, they did. It's written here. I was wrong! I thought it was because she was like, they're still fighting, and I'm like, what do you mean? They can't be fighting, right? They're all dead. Because Junko had prepared countless- What else is missing? Despair. Like the killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate. Uh, 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 
the remnants of despair in the future. Oh, there's another one after fight. that. But for now, we've avoided the worst of it. What? Was Makoto's class not the 78th? The biggest, most awful, most trapped. Because you are prepared to spread despair. Killing game of the class of Hope's Peak Academy. Wait, what? What the fuck are you guys on about? The biggest, most awful, most tragic. I'm so confused. Class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate despair. I don't get it. What? What about the ultimate despair? It wasn't the ultimate despair that trapped the 78th class in Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, shit. I mean, are we really going into technicalities? Really? I mean, at the end of the day, it was her plan for them to be boarded up in there and she did hold them in against their will, but they did not trap, she did not trap them in there they used it as a uh the original plan was for them to survive in there to protect the alumni it was the class themselves they shut themselves in shut themselves in why would they shut themselves in it has to do with the hope's peak academy shelter project during the tragedy the 78th class trapped themselves inside hope's peak academy for protection so our memory of the 78th class being trapped by the ultimate despair? Are you saying our memories are wrong? It just means those documents were written all half-assed. There's no need to worry about it. Your memories are all That's correct. still a technicality though, right? It's like, <laughs> does it really matter? What you've been saying isn't consistent. First you said it was just coincidence. Huh, is that so? Let's just move on. I want to talk about one more thing from our memories. It's about the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy that we were attending. What about Hope's Peak Academy? There's no doubt that the 16 of us were students at Hope's Peak Academy. We heard it had been rebuilt and was accepting applications for talented students again. And so, we gathered at the brand new Hope's Peak Academy. Since Hope's Peak Academy was large, we were all in separate classes. But there's no doubt we were students of the new school. Wait a minute. That makes no sense. If you're going for a perfect recorrect, uh, recreation, why the fuck are we in separate classes? Just like I thought, there's something wrong there. But why? Why are our memories so different? If you're going for a perfect recreation, we should all be in part of the same class. So she Hope's fucked up our memories on that front. And with that, recruitment of talented students resumed. When we found out, we came to the new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy was a huge school, which is why we were all in different classes. I can't refute that. That's right. We were all students. Oh, there we go. Oh shit! Wait, no. Damn it. That just says students and wait. Damn it. Hope's wait, then, wait. Then what the fuck am I refuting here? Students resumed. Yeah, recruited. Oh, recruitment of students. What the? F oh, how did I miss that? Come on. We came to the new Hope's Peak Academy. They never recruited people unless they were reserve students. Academy was a huge school. They were chosen. Which is why we were all in different classes. But we're all the same. That's right. We were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy. And with that, recruitment of ten. There we go. That's wrong. We remember Hope's Peak Academy taking applications from talented students. But that's not what's written here. The Academy did not take applications. All of their students were scouted. Scouted? I've never heard that. I wasn't scouted. I applied to Hope's Peak Academy on my own. Me too. I chose to come to Hope's Peak. At least, 
that's what I remember. Why do I feel like it's the truth, though? Maybe Makoto and, um, and, uh, Kyoko, when they were making Hope's Peak, they didn't want to repeat, so instead of having reserve students that would help fund for the scouted alumni, they were just like, fuck it, let everybody come, let them cultivate their own talents by themselves. Are you saying we're remembering it wrong? But what if this book's just wrong? Researchers make mistakes, too! Maybe so, but... I'm not getting all this from just the book. There is other evidence as well. Other what? The killing game we're in now is one that began with Hope's Peak Academy. So this is the third game after Hope's Peak and Jabberwock Island. But remember what Rantaro said? He's been in multiple before. And he was not a part of either of those. But the ultimate survivor, he survived the last killing game. But Rantaro's name wasn't listed among the past participants of the game. He was not present at the two killing games that Junko orchestrated. Then, which killing game did Rantaro participate in? I'm not entirely sure, but it's clearly inconsistent, isn't it? And the inconsistencies don't stop there. Kokichi's account is also suspect. Kokichi's account is inconsistent too? Oh, an inconsistency? Do tell. We remember Kokichi as a remnant of despair, but I don't think that's true. He wasn't a remnant of despair. See, that's what I'm saying. Fucking Junko saying here, go like, oh, he was just a lackey. It's like, but how if he was like just doing harmless pranks? I still find it hard that this guy who was like into harmless pranks just fucking went like, fuck it, I'll kill myself. He wasn't a remnant of despair? That's impossible. He was definitely a remnant of despair. The remnants of despair were the ones who tried to stop the Gopher project. And Kokichi was their leader. If he was the one leading the remnants of despair, then he must have been second only to the ultimate despair herself. Yes, he loved me more than anyone. Like an obsessed fan hiding in the bushes. So where's your proof he wasn't a remnant of despair? The proof that Kokichi isn't a remnant of despair. His motive video. This is it! The motive video we found in Kokichi's dorm room. Also, if he was a remnant of despair, you know, he wouldn't really have any buddies. It's impossible for that to happen. Kokichi Yoma, the ultimate supreme leader. He caused mayhem the world over as leader of a secret organization, DICE. And by mayhem, I mean petty, nonviolent crimes and harmless pranks. Anyways, Kokichi had 10 loyal goons working for him. These goons were like friends and family, the most important people in his life. An organization centered around petty crimes, one that forbids murder. And in addition to that, the group was only 10 people. That's far too few to be the same group that tried to sabotage the Gopher Project. Meaning that whatever group Kokichi was a part of is not the remnants of despair. His motive video clearly contradicts our memories. The memory we have of Kokichi being a remnant has to be false. You mean, he wasn't a remnant of despair? That's not possible. Come to think of it, we never actually heard it directly from him. But it's still not possible. Kokichi didn't tell us because he wasn't exposed to that flashback light. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> and neither was Kaito. That's what I've been saying. That's why he questioned that shit too. He said, Remnant? <laughs> what the fuck are you guys talking about? Junko? Oh. Despair. Kaito didn't appear to know anything about the remnants of despair or Junko Inoshima. If they'd been exposed to it, maybe we'd know the truth. Maybe it's better that they weren't. I think the people who were affected by that flashback light were wrong. Huh? What do you mean? All of these weird inconsistencies are from memories we got from the flashback lights. Hmm. So the 
flashback lights are the cause? You found the classroom that makes all the flashback lights, right, Shuichi? Yes, and I noticed something strange about it. I actually did a little experimenting with a device hidden in the room. It allowed you to select the memory that a flashback light would recover. However, some of the memories were inconsistent with each other. One might say, there are survivors, but another would say, there are no survivors. Bizarre, right? The flashback lights allegedly help us recover our memories. We're supposed to remember the truth that we forgot, and there should only be one truth. Damn, we're just like rats in a fucking maze being guided by cheese. But then, having the option to recover contradictory memories doesn't make sense. Then what are you saying? Huh? The flashback light isn't for recovering lost memories? Is that what you're saying? Then what was it for? Orchestrating the killing game. Inducing despair. What was it for, huh? Huh? Go on, tell them. What are the flashback lights for? What are the flashback lights used for? Why can't you select different memories? And what does this mean if those memories contradict each other? If I put all the pieces together, it'll make sense. We'll be able to find the real truth. Hangman's Gambit? What are they for? I don't know. Shit. Uh. I just need... What's what are we for? Flashback light does what to memory? Okay. What word am I looking for here? Some L's. I use the P, I use the L, then I use an N. There's a specific word we're looking for, and I don't know what that word is. We can't li There's an I. Where's the A? Oh, there it is. Give me an N. Give me a T. Implant memories. I see now. Yes, that's it. The flashback light isn't supposed to help us remember anything. It's a tool for implanting false memories. Implanting memories? Yes, the memories you could select for the flashback lights weren't our real memories. They were memories to be implanted inside us. That's why the contents of those memories contradict each other. Once we're exposed to a flashback light, those memories become the truth to us. So the memories we recovered with the flashback lights were... Not real. They were all false memories. They were all lies! Lies?! Oh, what a horrible truth! If the memories from the flashback lights are lies... ...then everything was a lie! All the suspense and foreshadowing was for nothing! Can you believe it? It's like everything that happened didn't matter at all. Wow! <laughs> well, that is what it means. Exactly. Huh? Lies are just like snowballs! The more you roll them, the bigger they get. The bigger they are, the more fun and shocking it is when they're revealed. That's why everything up till now has been lies. That's the truth. The memories from the flashback lights were just lies? It's just as Shuichi said. The flashback lights are not for recovering lost memories. They're tools for implanting new ones. 
the light they emit is actually information that has been converted to light waves. That light is beamed directly into the brain, causing a deja vu sort of phenomenon. Ah, so it's pseudoscience that makes no fucking sense. Got it. The brain gets confused and thinks the info it just received happened in the past. We were just confused? For example, your memories of being students of Hope's Peak Academy? Fake! <laughs> you guys don't have anything to do with Hope's Peak Academy. None of us were ever students there. It was just a fake memory. Wait a minute. Is it possible that we're not even fucking ultimates? We're not students from Hope's Peak? Yep, that was all fake. Looking back, it was a mistake to have you remember Hope's Peak. I didn't originally plan on giving you those memories, but... I was in a rush and overlooked all those inconsistencies, so you figured it all out. <laughs> it's hopelessly the worst! So that's why Kokichi had to die? Good job, Mr. Detective. You got it. The only reason we thought Kokichi was a remnant was because of the flashback lights. But he did say that he was the leader of a cult organization. That was a lie he invented himself. He wanted to be the mastermind. He wanted us to believe it. That's why he lied. Anyways, I gotta confess. You know that cut I mentioned earlier? Cut? That cult I mentioned earlier, the leader's me. Huh? Which means the mastermind who snuck upon Monok uh, who snuck Monokuma onto the Ark is me. Okay. He usurped the mastermind's role, but in doing so, became a thorn in their side. So to get rid of that hindrance, the mastermind played along with a lie. The mastermind manipulated us into thinking Kokichi was a remnant of despair. At the same time, having everyone remember Hope's Peak Academy made you guys target him because you thought he was a remnant of despair. You were using the flashback lights to control us? Then the reason I tried to kill Kokichi was... You were being controlled by false memories, like putty in the mastermind's hands. But Maki wasn't the only one being controlled. Remember when Kokichi revealed the truth of the outside world? You all got so depressed, you couldn't even focus on the killing game! Wait, then, to make us recover from that, you... Yep, we gave you memories of being Hope's Peak Academy students, the symbol of hope! Oh, shit. So you all could face despair! You... controlled us with that big memory? Well, it wasn't just that memory. It was all of them up till now. New mysteries and truths turn to motivation. Motivation drives a story. Everything from the flashback lights was just motivation to move you forward. But I guess it was fake motivation. You idiots kept getting jerked around by meaningless lies. This class trial was like that too, wasn't it? Why was it you were so motivated to do it? Because you got a memory from one of the flashback lights, right? Was that also a memory you used to control us? Hey, what was it you guys remembered from it again? At first, you ran away from the Gopher Project, humanity's last hope. Then some dorky ass but kid then, you brave shows up to accept your fate. Oh, damn it. You took on all the wishes of your friends and family. And now, you remember how you got here. You remembered that you had all been entrusted with the world's hope, right? Remembering the weight of that hope should have made you feel stronger. I have to escape! I'll never give up! I won't be defeated by the mastermind! Even though Kaito and Kokichi were gone, and Kibo started to go berserk. You guys didn't give up hope. You decided to face this killing game, right? You were controlling our emotions? Even our resolve to defeat the mastermind? This is a killing game. A death game where emotions run like blood. 
That's some fucked up shit. <laughs> what the hell? Participants aren't trying their best to live. It's just not very exciting. Oh, the memories were fake. Then what was everything till now? Wait a minute. I have a question. Started thinking in my mind, right? So if we're going wait, so since Junko right here is the 53rd and you know her eyes have like the V3 in it and the game's called V3 right and you know I thought it stood for version 3 would it instead wouldn't it stand for ver wouldn't it stand for Danganronpa 53rd so is the killing harmony itself multiple killing games happening one after another and this is the 53rd iteration Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> Yo, I'm too smart for this game sometimes. That memory. And that memory. Yeah. What the fuck? Like that just popped up in my mind. I'm like, "Wait a minute. Hold up." <laughs> Wait. So, fuck. So it is a loop. I've been saying this shit since way back when. I called this game way earlier in this playthrough. Get the fuck out of here. I called this game. I called Rentaro's fucking talent. I'm too powerful. No one man should have all this power. That memory and 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 that. I called that Kokichi wasn't a real remnant of despair. Jesus fuck. I called that he was a liar from second one. I'm like, ultimate organization. What the? He's a liar. Come on. If they were all big memories, then. Where are we? Why are we in this killing game? Yeah, who knows? My plans for mankind's last killing game kind of just fell apart. So figure out why on your own. This is a classic Wait. trial, after all. Question. So, does this 53rd iteration of Junko, does she plan on killing herself as well? Was that, does she kill herself every time? Then, who are you? I don't know who you are. <laughs> What's not to understand? Because Junko always dies at the end of these things. I became me. What about that don't you get? If this killing game is connected to Hope's Peak Academy, then I believe you. This is certainly the work of someone carrying on Junko Inoshima's will. But we have nothing to do with Hope's Peak, so you can't be Junko. So who the hell are you? I need no one else. What? <laughs> what? Dude. Are you just a fucking computer program? What are you? <laughs> oh man. By the way, welcome Ken. Hope you're having fun. <laughs> what is this? Huh? You know him, don't you? He was in the Jabberwock Island killing game. That's Hajime. I'm Hajime Hinata. What the fuck is with your voice? <laughs> That's not what we mean! What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm just cosplaying! You're full of shit! You're not even a human! There's no way. There's no way. Cosplaying? Yeah, this is just cosplay. Oh my god, stop it. But it's not just normal cosplay, because I can perfectly replicate the character. You're not a human. You're a robot. Check it out. Even my voice sounds exactly the same. Is Junko and Oshima also? Yes, it's my cosplay. I can perfectly reproduce a number of characters and actually become them. This is the talent of the ultimate cosplayer. Number of characters? How could she cosplay as students of Hope's Peak Academy? Because Sumugi told us. 
That, that's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place. Lately, some people will prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable. If so, so unforgivable that I break out into cospox if I even attempt it. Was that your cosplay as well? <laughs> you cosplayed someone with cospox? Yes, that's exactly right. So then, what does this mean? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> what? If what I said was the truth, then Hope's Peak Academy was... What Hope's Peak Academy was... If Samugi can cosplay as them, there's only one possibility. It's fictional. It's fictional? It's all fictional? Fictional? What? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history never happened. I'm calling bullshit. You can't tell me that these games never happened. Hope's Peak, the Future Foundation, and the Remnants of Despair do not exist. Because it's all fiction, none of it actually happened in the real world. All of those events took place within a fictional world known as Danganronpa. Kyoko, what the fuck happened to your voice? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> in a fictional world known as Danganronpa. What the fuck? What? What are you even talking about? Oh come on! Don't don't throw Mikan in my face like that. That's my favorite. That's right. Me, that nasty pig bark, and everyone else are all fictional. Hold on. Then Hope's Peak Academy doesn't exist. I don't believe this is a lie. It's a lie. You're fucked up. Because it's fiction. Doesn't exist in the real world. What? Isn't that surprising? Yeah. Up till now, you thought fiction was fact. Fiction is just fiction. Dungan Rampa's just fiction. This whole Dungan Rampa story was just stuffed into your memories. For that reason, you all believed that work of fiction was, in fact, reality. And that's how we put on a cosplay performance for everyone to see. A cosplay performance of the whole wide dog and romp of world. I'm I'm confused. Of the whole wide world. So this was all fake. Everything was made up. And the whole time we thought it was real. You can't tell me that Chiaki wasn't also, real. Cosplayers talent. You can't take that from me. Characters. I cried for that bitch. If that was all the big bad mastermind could do. I can do far that was one of the few deaths that. I actually cried for. I can cosplay what the, the world fuck? Itself. I don't believe you. You're full of shit. Mm -mm. So nope. if you want to Not make me your enemy, then your enemy is the world of Dongan Rampa itself. Dongan Rampa itself. What kind of fucking Undertale bullshit is this? <laughs> yeah. The game's a lie. You wasted your time. But why? Why would you do this? Why make us think it's real? Well, duh. It's so you don't play the killing game. Dude, I'm having like a mental breakdown right now. Get the fuck out of here with this. This is the world of Dungan Rock. There's no fucking way. No shit we're playing the killing game. But it's not just any killing game. You can't tell me Nagito's fake. That dude was great. It's a killing game that takes place in the real world, propped up by fiction. In other words, it's ultimate real fiction! Ultimate real fiction? But if it's fiction, if everything isn't real... Maki, are you real? <laughs> uh, this is like one of the multiple twists that we're about to... Oh, shit. You know what? The fact that someone spoiled to me that Samugi was the mastermind, I'm happy. You know what? Fuck it. I don't even care about that spoiler anymore because this shit is better. Wow. See, this is what ha this is what happens when jackasses who don't play the game just look look it up and tell it to other people. They don't get all the facts. They miss out on this shit. Then, the world being in ruins is also fiction, right? The world outside is fine, right? 
There is no world. That's a lie. You're a lie. It's all a lie. Fuck it. How did you like that scene? Dude, I, I called this shit. I literally said, wait a minute. Are we in a Soma world? Does nothing exist? Are we in a void? Fucking, that's what I thought the secret of the virtual world was. That the fucking wall at the end was like, it's just a loop. There's nothing beyond that point. Everything is finite. Steph? There's no need to worry about the people backstage. Anyway, back to our conversation. You guys can just relax. The world hasn't been destroyed. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a cat 10, and if Chiaki still ain't real, I'm about to commit a killing game. <laughs> Thanks for the following. Shit. It's not destroyed? Then we can all go home and- nah, that ain't happening. <laughs> Why? If the world is Wait, you're telling me that Hagakure's mother isn't real? Oh my god, but she was such a badass. I told you that ain't happening, you dumb sea urchin-headed- Wait, that's me. Monokuma, what's going on? Is this is why I can't get my Danganronpa VR? Because <laughs> it's not real, it was never real, my VR isn't real? Fuck this. Do you really want to know? <laughs> Forget about the world! It wants nothing to do with you! The walls of this academy are your world now! The outside world is of no concern to you! My computer program? The audience certainly agrees with me, isn't that right, you guys? What are you doing? What are you doing, Monokuma? <laughs> it's fucking real people just playing the game. Dude, if I saw a picture of my own face up there, I would just, I would turn this game off. It'd be done. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. What is this shit? Those are real people. <laughs> what? We've all been watching this killing game transpire. So when I've been joking around, when they're like, who would watch this? And I'm like, yeah, who would watch this, you sick fucks? <laughs> oh my god, we're all six fuck. We goddamn. Of course, those you see here are only a fraction of our total viewers. Dude, what? And people always, people always sit there and say, I'm not getting into Danganronpa. It's some edgy hot topic bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. It's just like Shuichi said. This was all arranged because people want to see it. The more I think about Sayaka, the more I like her. <laughs> Even though I did not give a fuck about her at first. So this was all a show. This whole killing game. But it doesn't even matter who I like anymore. Everyone in this whole Shut up. World You're a liar. You don't exist. Peaceful world? I knew it. Ultimate gamer girl. Would never exist. Not in the real world. Uh-uh. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Only in my dreams. The outside world is peace itself. There's no despair or wars, and I like Toko. <laughs> All the people in this peaceful world are straight up crazy for this killing game. <laughs> Wait, why would a peaceful world need a game like this? It's because the world is so peaceful that this killing game is necessary! It is so very peaceful, and so... It is so very so boring. Celeste is fake. That hurts me. Deeply. With so much peace, people have become bored. They need stimulation. We created this ultimate real fiction. <laughs> so we just died for your entertainment? Who are you people? Every uh, person in the outside world watching this is a huge Danganronpa fan. My god. Wait, so that's what the kid was? The kid was a dude just going like, My life sucks. Everything's boring. But good thing I'm accepts I'm ex I'm fucking obsessed with Danganronpa. Kill. Die for me. Everyone loves the killing games. This killing game is for everyone. So it's everyone's killing school semester. This is the killing harmony. <laughs> oh shit. This killing game is the latest entry in Danganronpa. The long-awaited sequel that everyone has been waiting for. This is the truth of this killing game. 
Isn't it the ultimate real fiction? We... We were forced to play... Some and I'm part of the problem. Game? Here I am streaming this shit. <laughs> Having custom art for it. Get the fuck out of here. Out here telling people to buy this game, making these people suffer. I'm going to hell. That's what's happening. You noticed way too late. There's no Dongon Rampa without Monokuma. Since I'm here, that means this is Dongon Rampa. All right. All right. Let's just say. Come on, let's just say this was all a joke, right? Come on. What is this? Don't do this to my characters, please. <laughs> let's not. Can't you tell? It's the title of the current Dongan Yo, go no fuck yourself. A testament to the unquenchable thirst this blood-soaked world has for Dongan Rampa. I have the biggest smile on my face and I can't stop smiling. This is fucking stupid. I love this shit. What do you mean? I love it and that's the problem. <laughs> So long oh no, not your hero. Uh, how long has it gone on? Did you forget what season of Duncan Rampa this is? You guys are dumber than ants. What do you think? It's the 53rd! Man, you got Dagan Rampa. I started this playthrough with saying, hey guys, I really hope you played Dagan Rampa. One and two, and watch the anime, and read some of the what if stories, or fucking you know read a little bit of Killer Killer or something like that, because there might be spoilers. Fuck it. <laughs> how how much Danganronpa is what there? Killing game is this? What season do you think we're on? What season you think we're on? Tell from the logo. To tell from the logo. <laughs> Isn't this the third game? No. Of a hint, just feast your eyes below my belt. What killing game is this? What number is this? You can tell from the logo. Hangman's Gambit. Dude, I called this shit. <laughs> Where's the three? I blew this shit wide open. Where's Matt Pat? Somebody tell that motherfucker to hire me. <laughs> it's a game theory. Fifty third one? Ding ding! Correct. This is the fifty third season of Dongan Rampa. Took you ten minutes to realize it, dude. I wasn't even like really thinking about it though. In other words, the moment, like, honestly, the moment that. <laughs> When I was looking at Junko, I'm like, oh, she has a V in her eye. That's cool. I didn't know the other one was a three. When you said that, I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's cool. But that doesn't make sense, though. Why is there a five? Why is there a V and a three in her eye? Unless it's Roman numeral. <laughs> and then I was like, well, that's cool that she's the 53rd. All right. But why is she the 53rd? <laughs> and then I, I thought about the title. I'm like, wait, V3. I always thought it stood for version three. No! <laughs> Starting with the Hope Speak Academy arc in Dongan Rampa 1, 2, then 3. Next Dangan Rampa, final Dangan Rampa, Dream Dangan Rampa Hope's name. Oh, what the fuck is this shit? Anniversary Dangan Rampa 10, Birth of Despair. Despair's counterattack. <laughs> A new hope and despair. That's fucked up. <laughs> When the devs of Danganronpa said people just wanted the killing game, but little did they know the entire fandom is crying because their favorite games, favorite characters died. Shit. He's like, you just want to watch killing, huh? You don't care. Damn it. We're the problem, guys. I feel like... <laughs> and then after this, they made what? The fucking game on Switch, right? What, what was it called? Like, fuck, I forgot what it's called. It's like the one you play as children or whatever. I heard it kind of sucked, though. I heard that one was bad. <laughs> I'm just... Uh... So what are we getting after? Are we getting anything after the... Danganronpa's done. It's over. The seasons just kept coming. And with it, came more killing games. Until...
until it transcended games and anime to become this. You know what's also funny about this is that they're like, this is the real fiction. We did this for the people. But at the same time, they're making fun of the fans too because they're like, you know, this is just the same story every fucking time. Same students, same from Hope's Peak, same fucking Junko. She'll die at the end. Fucking, it doesn't matter. They lost their memories. We do the same exact shit every fucking time, just with different talents. <laughs> they're like, no, it doesn't matter how many Danganronpas we make. We can sit here and have Junko be the bad guy after all of them, and you'll still eat it up, you piece of shit. <laughs> and now, we're in the 53rd season of Dagon Rampa! Huh? 53rd season? What? Did the letter in there throw you off? Well, I guess that happens. Hey, it's logo branding, you know, it's fine. But isn't it just rad how it looks like a letter? But it's really a number? I fucking call that shit. Our title is the 53rd. As this is the 53rd game we have masterminded. Wait, so what the fuck is the deal with Rantaro though? Is it like, what? <laughs> what? Dude, how many have you survived? How many have you survived in, it? let's say, you know, let's say they're not going for the, for the full loop here, right? Let's say that they're not, directly pointing at us and they're just pointing at the audience in their own game right so does that audience already know what the fuck the deal with rantaro is since he's a survivor because we don't know it was supposed to we be didn't hint, know but whatever it was supposed to be a hint i got it don't worry i got it i read that shit out <laughs> since this is the 53rd season one would expect to see a multitude of characters but you only have memories from the first two, so you wouldn't recognize any others. That's why I've limited myself to only cosplaying as Hope's Peak characters. Is it sinking in yet? This killing game is just the 53rd season of Danganronpa. You can't tell me it's all fake. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Dude, you got it. You got it. Come on, just just get me like, haha, JK. It's act. It's real, guys. Cause then I, I then I'll then I'll never want to play this shit ever again. I will have no reason. There's no meaning to this. Trapped in a fictional Dungan Rompa inspired world and forced to play the killing game. That is what the world desired from you. So yes, I'm the mastermind. But the real mastermind forcing you to do this is. I mean, if the devs will make all of the 53 Dungan Rompa games, fans will have already watched like six. Oh shit. I don't watch any of the Fang and Rampas. I'm just... It's not that I don't... Well, i am be honest, fucking... Usually I just avoid any type of community from any game because there's always some point where someone takes it too far. Right? Or, you know, you just avoid all the cringe and I'm afraid if I watch any of that stuff, it'll just be fucking cringe. Right? What if there was an ultimate martial artist and he was like Goku and he beat everyone and then he killed the mastermind and then he became the mastermind? Like, I don't want, I don't want any of that shit to happen. I bet some of them are really good, right? There's definitely a bunch of fan fiction, uh, fan fiction works that became like good, um, good, uh, series and stuff like that, right? But fuck, <laughs> you just want to... Sometimes you did well for me all the time. I just go like, you know what? I'll just wait. I'll wait until someone goes like, bro, this one's really fucking good though. What the fuck are these people doing in my house? Why are they banging on the, the wall? The people of the outside world. The people of the outside world are the ones who are forcing you to do this. The whole world is the real mastermind. The reason I made this world? The reason you guys did the killing game? It's all because the outside world wants it, you know? It's not just me. It's everyone involved in this project. Project? What? You don't know what that is. Is your brain leaking oil or something? The ones managing this killing game aren't psychos like the remnants of despair. They're literal managers! Literally! They call themselves out. Get the fuck out so of here. So I want to hear shit. your best guess. What company is 
that's running this show. Is it Spike Chunsaw? <laughs> Dude. Dude, get the fuck out of here with this. Is that why when the game starts up it says Team Dang and Rampa? <laughs> Wait, what what am I missing? Oh come on, it's a pixel. Fuck yourself. Dude, what? I see it. What? <laughs> Team Dungan Rampa? Yeah! The company that makes Dungan Rampa is called Team Dungan Rampa. You guys are behind in your studies! The audience knew the answer right away! It's in the title credits at the start, too. Fuck you, don't play the fucking title credits to me, you piece of shit! Go fuck yourself! <laughs> For real! What is this? Bro, it's not real. None of it's real. I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to look at it. Fuck it. Dude. <laughs> you can't tell me this. Why did I care? I'm not even, Chiaki's not even my favorite, but you can't tell me that, that, uh, that she, that it's not real. Oh, it's the full intro. We just didn't see it. We just didn't see it. This is the Killing Harmony. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. I don't want to play this no more. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't even want to know what the ending is no more. I really don't. You can't take this away from me. I'm also a part of Team Danganronpa. We make the finest killing entertainment. This is, this is the part oh where so it much. shows Mew's death and then it's the fucking meme of... Uh, <laughs> Of Obi Wan yelling at fucking Anakin, he's like, "She's not real," and then Anakin goes, "But she's real to me." And our newest project is Don't Go Run by V Three Killing Harmony. A heart pounding killing game brought to life by Ultimate Real Fiction. Shut up! Shut up! You created an entire fictional world. To make us do this fictional killing game? No matter how many false memories we've been implanted with, we aren't fictional! You sure about that? 
bro, what if the screen just showed me a picture of myself right now? They said, you sure about that? <laughs> That'd be some what? fucked up shit. You guys are making Himiko sad. Stop it. That's impossible. Didn't I tell you that you have no homes to go back to? The twists aren't over. Oh fuck. Why not? Because you're just like us. You only exist within the world of Duncan Rampa. Just like you? <laughs> Still don't get it? You just need to ask yourselves one question. Who the hell are you guys? I don't know. Who are we? I'm real. Go fuck yourself. We're real. We're living, breathing human beings. No, you're just like me. No, it can't be. Ow, are you hurting me? We're the same. We're all just like you? Yes, that's right. You're all fictional too. We're just fictional characters created solely for this killing game. Nothing we can do about it, I'm afraid. Danganronpa is that kind of property. What are you saying? By the way, I just want to say, I'm sorry if you guys hear like banging in the background. There's a bunch of idiots in my house that are banging on my wall and shaking my TV like morons. I'll have a word with them later. Don't worry about that. Your immaterial existence is a fabrication independent of your actual flesh and blood. You know what? If anyone else besides Gundam said that, I would believe them. Go fuck yourself, Gundam. Yep, you're all fictional. You guys out there beyond the fourth wall already knew that, right? You all didn't look like this when you first came to the Ultimate Academy. What? Those were your true selves. Now you're all just fictional characters. What? That's the truth. Wait. Are you... What are you saying? Are you telling me you're sapping people who play this game to add them in the killing game? No fucking way. That's a lie. Nuh-uh. That's the truth. Then our real identity... Average, everyday people with no ultimate talent whatsoever. I mean, I called that already, right? I called that they were not ultimates, so that's not surprising to me. But I, I need to know, are these people getting sucked into the game? When you guys came to this academy for the first time, you were just boring, everyday high school students. You were average students with no talent, just like me. But boring everyday characters have no right to be in Danganronpa. So you were all made more suitable for your new role. What do you mean boring characters have no right? Look at fucking, uh, look at, um, Makoto's sister. She's the most average motherfucker ever, and that's her superpower. Everyone remembered thanks to the first flashback light. You were all given personalities, talents, and upbringings to create your characters. Much like that delightful documentary, Making a Murderer. I never watched Making a Murderer. Sorry, I disappointed all of you. This story began. Which means your ultimate talents are all just fiction. Our talents as well? Yep, your talents are a bunch of lies. Don't worry, Maki, I still love you. I mean, they suited you to a certain extent, but mostly in a placebo effect sort of way. Kinda like a form of auto-suggestion, you know. Like if you do it, it'll all work out. But it's not just your talents, it's your personalities, families, Memories. It's all fiction created by the flashback light. Can you really say you're not fictional now? Even if your body is real, your identities, personalities, talents, and past are all fiction. 
Are you really saying none of this is fictional now? Wait a minute. What are you babbling about? Our identities, personalities, talents, and past are all fictional? That's stupid! It's not stupid! Isn't this what you all wanted? We wanted this? I didn't want to feel bad. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, you wouldn't remember, but you guys were all from the outside world. It's not strange at all that you'd want to be part of the show you love. So they are real people getting sucked in. What the fuck? <laughs> no way. Are you saying we wanted to participate in this killing game? Who the fuck would want that? I love this shit, but I don't want that. I want to stay far away from this shit. Except for Maki. Maki, you can come along with me. That's not possible. How could we ever- Please, everyone, take a look at this. Bro, don't show me real peep, real versions of them. Number 154. My name is... Oh. I thought they were gonna, like, have a picture of a real person dressed up like Suichi. Just going like, Hey, yo, my name is, like, Tommy Guinness or some shit. I've always been such a huge fan of Danganronpa and always wanted to be in one. Oh, bro, that's a lie. Come on. If I were a contestant, I would want to be an ultimate detective. Which one of you motherfuckers asked me what would my ultimate fucking talent be? And then I said, I don't know. I would be a loser, I guess. Fuck you guys, by the way. I know there's been a few in the past, and I've always loved those characters. So I would want to be one of them. Uh, but I don't have to be a detective. I'll be anything to be part of the show. And I mean that. Anything. I do anything to be part of Danganronpa. I promise, if I get selected, I will work as hard as I can. I will come up with the best, most gruesome murders, I promise. Everyone will love it. What the fuck is your problem? And an ultimate detective hasn't been the blackened yet, so I'm sure I could do that. <laughs> Dude, this is the type of crunch I try to avoid with the Fang and Rampa shit. That's why I don't even look at them, right? I want to avoid that. That's what I'm not going towards. He's like, yeah, an ultimate detective has never been the blackened, so I bet it would be the best thing ever. He's like, all right, man, breathe. I'm also thinking about the perfect punishment for an ultimate detective. <laughs> what is this? What? Oh, that? my heart hurts. Wasn't that you, Shuichi? No, it can't be. I'd never say something like... You wouldn't say that now, but this is you before you became who you are now. It's a fake memory. I don't believe it. What? When we saw your audition tape, we had a flash of inspiration. The weakest ultimate detective ever. Wouldn't it be great to see him grow? <laughs> what the fuck? And that's why we made your character and had you join the gang. Bro. See, I knew it was like weird when all when everyone was all like, "Yes, yeah, Suichi, I believe in you. Come on, you can do it. Let's all have faith in Suichi." The rest of you are no different. You auditioned and were selected as well. Auditioned? Yeah, you were all so excited when you were selected. I believe it was right after you all received your ultimate wardrobe. Huh? W what am I wearing? How nice! Ah, uh, looking good. They look more like ultimates. Huh? Ultimates? Really? So... Next up, the memories you all have been waiting for. You guys are ready? Oh yeah, get ready. Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. Killing game? Could it be... You mean we were sl- What? When? Where? That never happened. Right. We got picked? Really? All right. Bro, I still, if this were to happen to me, I'd be like, okay, wait, which one of you motherfuckers kidnapped me though? <laughs> wow, really? I'm selected for it too? Oh shit. That's fake. I don't believe it. Go fuck yourselves. That's a lie. I have no memory of that. You just forgot is all. Because of the flashback light we used on you. How is Kibo here? He's a fucking robot. The people you used to be are gone. 
You're fictional characters now. Did you guys Robocop his ass? What happened? Do you finally understand? You are all flesh and blood fictional characters. So you got nowhere to return! All that stuff's fiction too! Then, my friends and family, my whole life before coming here. You guys are making Himiko cry. Stop it. Makes me feel bad. That's what a backstory is! You can't go back home because there is no such place! Just like how there's no Togami Corporation in the real world. The only place we fictional characters I'm okay with no Togami Corporation. Yaki is cool, but he's an asshole. Only in this world. Only in Danganronpa. Only in this world? Yes! The place you're actually trapped inside is the Danganronpa world! That's why you guys can't leave this place! That's why your only option is to continue the killing game here! Then... What was the plan for having two people left? You're all fictional characters, created to kill each other! It's what the world wants! That's why there's nowhere to run! Enough! I don't want to know anything else! I've had enough! Ugh! That reaction! Queen, you fell into despair. It's times like these you need to look to your friends for support. Oh, go fuck yourself! However, all your friends are fictional too! Yeah. For example, even Kaito's illness was given to him as part of his character. Why you gotta have Maki- uh, why you gotta have Mikan be the one to say that, you know? Come on, man. I, I would appreciate if you didn't use her that much, you know? Just a little. Just a little thing for me. What? I think you made something snap. Maki? I was the one who came up with that plotline and gave him that virus. I was also the one who came up with the plotline where you fell for Kaito. What are you saying? Then what about Tango? Was she always defending me because... Because that was her character. It's the same for me too. Well, if you if you knew what her character was, can you tell me if she was a de facto lesbo? Cause uh, she's a lesbo, right? A character created to bring excitement to the killing game, much like myself. So the killing game swelled with excitement. Even my pants started to swell too. You, you're telling us this is all a lie? Are you saying even those were lies? Well, if you're going to call fiction a lie, then yes. Everything in this world has a writing credit. All our words and actions are just a bunch of lies. For example, an unbreakable vow of brotherhood is just a simple plot line. Oh, go fuck yourself. You said it, bro. However, that was a splendid plot line. It was cool. I liked it. Even that thing Kaede said that moved Shuichi's heart. Oh, fuck. He's already dead. Leave him be. Shit. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. That was a lie. Cause the real Kaede said. What she say? What that? What that I'm bitch say? For a killing game. I don't have any faith in humanity. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Dude, what? And who could forget Kaito's inspiring line? She said, yeah, I got no faith in him. Fuck these motherfuckers. Don't forget, the impossible is impossible. All you gotta do is make it so. I want Kaito's face to that pop up and he's lie. all like, by the way, I trust no one ever. Kaito said. Look at this crazy son of a bitch. I'm not just gonna be a dunk on Ronpa. I'm gonna oh kill my everybody. fuck! <laughs> what if Kaito said believe, but Kaito also said die? <laughs> oh god, we need the Kaede. All faith in humanity is gone. You know what? Honestly, me too. <laughs> Listen, hentai exists. We already sunk as low as we could. And if you read my fucking bio on Twitch, you would know that I'm part of that problem. 
Once I've got fame and fortune, I don't gotta worry about what's impossible. It's all fiction! It's all a lie! How many people want to fucking kill in Danganronpa? Seriously? I always liked the characters that didn't kill. Oh my god, that means I would die. Oh. Oh no. Every single thing that has happened in this killing game is a lie. It's all a lie. The next Marvel movie that comes out, I'm just gonna run to the theaters, run on stage, and just scream, It's a lie! You're wasting your fucking time! They don't exist! The reason we're all here right now is because of them. Because of them, I was able to change. I, I can't look at Kaito the same no more. That's why I was trying to live for them. I was trying so hard to stay positive. But, if even that's a lie... Is that why one of the biggest fucking uh, gameplay mechanics in this game that they introduced was it's time for you to lie through your fucking teeth? Maybe she's lying. Maybe she's lying. Maybe she's lying through her teeth right now. Why am I here? Why did I even survive this long? This is fiction. There's no greater meaning. No greater meaning to death. No greater meaning to life. It's all fiction. There's no meaning to be found in any of it. It's so gross I could just bark. Well, I guess it makes sense you wouldn't believe all this stuff. How about that? You in despair yet? Doesn't even fucking matter. Junko doesn't exist. Fuck off. It will be troublesome for us if you don't despair under our rule. What? Duncan Rumpa's all about despair. Oh, it's not. Fuck you. The reason this killing game's so popular. Why it's gone on for 53 seasons. <laughs> I just want Junko to be like, why do you think people watch Jerry Springer for like the 4,000 episodes they had? People don't like happy shit. Go fuck yourself. Uh, Izuru sounds like Karikyo. Yeah, I know. His voice actor's weird. It's definitely not the same voice actor. That reason is despair. Viewers flock to see your despair. That's why all those people out there look so happy! See? Go fuck yourself because this whole entire time I've been smiling and I don't know why. What is this? Despair. Is this despair? Is this what the outside world wants? Is this what they want from us? I don't want you to suffer. the energy to yell well for yeah it is a different voice actor anyway, god it makes the viewers even more depraved and obsessed when they feel sorry for you oh fuck you they watch knowing that they shouldn't just to revel in the depravity of it all that depravity is the appeal of death games it's the it's the appeal i didn't mean to skip it Sorry. So what are we supposed to do? Huh? What was that? What are we supposed to do? Oh my god, get your fucking What's classical music time? shit out of here, dude. Now's not the time. Huh? What are you guys talking about? Weren't you going to ruin the class trial and end the killing games? Go ahead and stop it if you can. Try and stop a world obsessed with it! Stop! Cause you know I want another game, so go fuck yourself. There's no way to stop it. It's impossible. The only way to stop it is for Danganronpa to end. You know what? I'd be happy with that. I can't see them suffer no more. Oh. Are you giving up already? I can't let them go through this no more, it's too much. 
fucking fast forward <laughs> to years from now when a new Danganronpa game gets announced. I'm like, yeah, I love Danganronpa. Yeah. It's all a lie, isn't it? <laughs> Not the Claire de Lune. Oh, no. I'm having evil within flashbacks. Me? Everyone here? Everyone who died? Everything's a lie, right? I can't fight for a lie, can I? Oh! What's the matter? Are you in despair? No matter how much you grow, Shuichi, you're still weak after all. Now that you know it's all lies, You've gone back to the weak ultimate detective. <laughs> this pleases us. It is a despair fit for Dungan. If everything Rumpa. is fake, my theory has been proven. Suichi, Suichi's lashes are fake as well. Of course, because that man's lashes is on point. I'm jealous. Well, that was surprisingly disappointing. But I guess it's okay. We're still on script. Everything's a lie. So before all this, my mind was that something fucked up's gonna happen. Everyone would die except for Suichi and the fucking, uh... I never said this before, but I, I honestly thought that that this game you would lose and fucking, uh... It would just be you and the mastermind left because I already knew it was Samugi. Right? And then Suichi would just spend his time with Samugi, I guess. Unless he killed himself or some shit. But this is way better than that, so fuck it. <laughs> Everything's meaningless. Everything we've done, everything we faced together, all of our feelings. black lies it doesn't matter how many mysteries you solve the mysteries were all fiction in the first place all scripted it's all over I want one of these dialogue lines to be can you stop reading this please <laughs> it's all just a lie anyways it doesn't matter what you do it's over now Bad end? Go fuck yourself. Is this the end? Please, tell me. I'm asking you. Whenever I was in trouble, my inner voice... Where the inner voice? What? I just thought the inner voice was Makoto. Kibo. No wonder why they were pushing Kibo so bad in the promotion shit. That guy lying is what brought me here. I don't believe there's a mistake. So, I will trust it. Please tell me. Tell me, what should I do? Please tell me your decision. Save the situation? Of course. What? <laughs> what? No! Is this the end? Please tell me I'm asking you. My inner voice. So I'll trust it. Tell me your decision. I'm pressing every button on the fucking controller. Save this situation? No! <laughs> Yes? Huh? 
I hear your voices crystal clear. My inner voice is telling me I need to remedy this situation. So... I was able to put Junko together, but not Kibo. A, I don't know if his name stands for anything, but also B, fucking, uh, <laughs> I've been saying that they've been promoting him for this whole entire, like when this game was coming out, they've been really promoting him. And I'm like, how come he looks a lot like Makoto? What's that about? <laughs> I guess this is why. That is why I will not give up. Kibo, what does your name stand for? I will not give up hope until the very end. <laughs> what? We can't give up. No matter what, hope is always within reach. We must keep our heads high and search for hope, especially in deepest despair. Hope? Huh? What hope? You said so yourself. This killing game is the ultimate real fiction. If this is both real and fiction, then logically it can't all be fictional. Even if this world is fiction, even if we're fiction, there must be something we can do. So there must be a way to break through this. I won't give up hope. Not ever! Jeez, oh, how annoying. The outside world doesn't just want despair, it wants hope too. If our voices have reached the outside world, then what my inner voice is telling me is... Oh, your inner voice? That's the voice of the outside world. Yeah, that's me, and I don't want you to win. Go fuck yourself. What? I know, because I wrote your plotline too. There's no way I wouldn't know who that is you're hearing. That's the voice of the outside world! The voice of the outside world? From the start of this killing game, you've had a unique role! See, that's why I wanted to know why the fuck he was a robot. What's going on with that? You're the audience surrogate! Ah, I gotta fuck yourselves. <laughs> audience surrogate? Your inner voice allows communication between yourself and the audience. That function exists to keep the audience entertained. Now tell me, what is your inner voice? Speak clearly and enunciate. What is my inner voice? If I'm Sergey, if I'm Sergey for the audience, I love how I'm playing as Kibo now. <laughs> We've been communicating this whole time. Then my inner voice is. This is it. This is it. God damn it. Audience survey. <laughs> well done! Yes, indeed, that is the truth! It's two way communication that lets you participate in the program from home. That is your inner voice's true nature, the results of an audience survey. The voice I relied on for guidance was just the audience answering survey questions? So my joke's about the voice just being people going, kill, kill, kill. It wasn't a joke, it was real. Every move you made was dictated by the audience's answers to that survey. For this season of Danganronpa, the main gimmick is audience participation. That antenna on your head lets you receive their answers. Th this is an antenna? When your antenna broke and you went crazy, that was a big problem for us. We got flooded with complaints from the audience. But that's not your only role. You're also the audience's camera. C camera Your eyes... ...are the eyes of the audience itself! The... ...audience's... ...eyes? The outside world has been watching from your eyes the whole time! It lets them feel like they're really a part of the Danganronpa world! And it's all thanks to you! That's why I'm so glad you survived all the way through. Cause now I can use you to plunge the outside world into despair. Fuck you, you stay in that TV. You don't come out here. D despair If the audience surrogate falls into despair, then the audience does too. 
By making you fall into despair? I can make the entire world fall into despair! My despair will turn from fiction to fact and destroy reality itself! <laughs> Isn't that just the most delightful despair? Why would you go to all this trouble? Isn't Junko and Oshima just a costume? Oh, Kibo, mon petit doudou! My cosplay is a perfect reproduction. Actually doing stuff the characters would is totally part of that. Is that why you want the world to fall into despair? That's messed up! <laughs> but that's the whole point of Danganronpa. The outside world wants to see horrible setups and payoffs! I don't want to see that. I want everybody to be friends. That's why Danganronpa 2 is my favorite, because they all survived. What could be more horrible than a fictional despair eroding the real world? No one could have imagined it. <laughs> Samugi, your plane could fall with a single drop in their cycling bed. Jesus. My bad, not your plane, your plan. It could, yeah. It could fall with a single drop in the recycling bed. True. No. I won't give in to despair. If I'm a surrogate for the audience, then I will use my inner voice to broadcast hope to the outside world. Do it, Kibo. I already fucking told you. The outside world only wants despair. I don't want that. There's no way to spread hope to an audience that watches killing games. No, my inner voice already told me what to do. I need to remedy this. If that's the voice of the outside world, then the outside world actually wants hope. So I will trust the outside world. I will trust in hope. Kibo, the ultimate hope robot. Hope has been recorded into the monopad. What is this? This is the power of hope. I will not lose to your despair. Not when I'm carrying the hope of the outside world. Ugh, how annoying. Hope? That's not popular. I like hope. Well, if I can get someone like you to fall into despair, that'd be a great ending. I won't let you do that. Hope will never give in to despair. Oh, you're going to go that far? Let's settle this. The final battle between hope and despair. Yahoo! Now that's what Dongan Rapa's all about. Settle this how? Yes, that is a problem. The class trial is in disarray because Monokuma broke a rule. Yeah, Monokuma, you piece of shit. You're the one who broke the rule. How about we start over and have a special vote? A special vote? But you're the one who broke the rules in the first place. Whatever, man. We've made it this far together. Let's just do one last vote. Cause that's what Danganronpa is all about! This final special vote will determine between Kibo and I, which of us should get punished? Oh, it's you, Smoogie. 100%. What? This will be a vote to determine how this story ends. You guys have to decide whether this story ends in hope or despair. This game should have had, like, Twitch integration, right? Imagine people watching, they're like, everyone vote. <laughs> and then fucking Smoogie wins. you end in despair? We decide? Only you can prevent forest fires. Oh man, this is great! The outside world is starting to get jazzed up! Hope will definitely win. No one here wants despair to win. Yeah, that's right. We can't side with the mastermind. Even if that choice ends in your suffering? What? Suffering? All right, let me explain what's going to happen after the vote. Okay. If Kibo, representing hope, is punished, and I, representing despair, win, then, per the rules, the killing school semester will continue until only two students remain. You're going to continue the game? No need to worry! Because there aren't going to be any more murders. 
My predictions are always correct 30% of the time. Even if they make new flashback light motives for you, you know they're lies. So no matter how many motives we provide, it's more likely that nothing will happen. Nothing will happen? I'll live happily ever after in the Academy. No! That's no way to live! <laughs> you don't know why, but you imagine the way they sell those rock, paper, scissors. You know what? I was actually holding that joke back. I was gonna say, how we decide this? Rock, paper, scissors. Even if you went outside, there'd be no point. As I said, all your memories are nothing but fiction. Your hometowns, your families, your friends, they never existed in the first place. Because they're all fiction! Dongon Rampa characters can only live in the Dongon Rampa setting. There's no reason to pull out of school. Only losers pull out. Oh, <laughs> what? Only losers pull out. All right, don't believe that. Oh man. Then at least put us back how we were. Silence. Weep not over spilt milk. I told you guys already. You can't get rid of memories with flashback lights. Flashback lights can only overwrite old memories with new ones. But if you're absolutely serious, then use a flashback light to become a different fictional character instead. So we can't go back to the way we were? But yeah! How about that despair? But if I, representing despair, am punished, and Kibo, representing hope, wins... Then this killing game will end, of course. However, you must follow the rules. The game will continue until the final two. What? So only two of you can graduate. What? What? Out of the four of us, only two can survive? Yes, that is so. I will let you decide the two who will survive. Okay. Know why Hajime's voice is different. They had the VA in the studio because Rantaro and Hajime have the same voice actor. Yeah, I don't... Maybe he just couldn't replicate the voice that he had before, right? Kind of like how David Hayter started like having trouble doing Snake's voice because he was getting older. We got this far and you're telling us to sacrifice more of our friends? It's just two measly sacrifices, and then the rest of you losers can leave the academy. All right. Kibo, you're dying because you're a robot. <laughs> and Suichi, you can't let Maki... You can't let Maki die. And can't make Himiko sad, so... The only logical explanation. However... Even if you do escape to the outside world, you will find it most unwelcoming. No! As long as we never give up, there will always be hope. Well, if you're gonna be a pussy about it, do whatever you want. Can you choose which two will survive? Can you choose which two will be sacrificed? I sacrifice myself! Oh shit, I knew he would do it. What? Kibo. If it will bring hope to everyone and the outside world, I will gladly sacrifice myself. So who's going to be Adam and Eve? But Kibo... <laughs> so we choose Adam. It's okay. Even if it destroys my body, I will defeat despair. Don't worry, I'll just pick up your memory chip. Kibo! Even if you sacrifice yourself, you still need one more. In order for hope to win. There needs to be one more sacrifice. Shuichi, Maki, and Himiko. One of them has to sacrifice themselves. Maki, I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. Do not. Or hope can't win. Do you got the guts to make such a heartless choice? Th that's... If we're going the logical route, a guy and a girl would have to survive. But I don't want to kill them. Do you understand now? Even if you choose hope, you will still suffer. You don't need to choose the hard way. No one expects you guys to do that. 
Yeah, there will be no more killing. So let's all just stay here together. There's no reason to go outside. Let's stay here together. Fuck you. Stay here together. Oh, fuck you, Psycho. All stay together. All right, all right. Mekon said it, so maybe we'll stay together. I want to stay here with you. The answer is not a no. <laughs> here? Together? I think everyone will feel a lot better after they vote for Kibo. Come on. Let's stay together. Please. Together? Okay. Don't let her fool you. Despair won't end this killing game. Only hope will. Oh, we got a fucking, oh man, mass attack, <laughs> shit. Mass panic debate. Oh. The world outside the killing game despair. will live on forever. Uh. This killing game will end in despair. Fuck you. Oh my bad. Everyone wants to feel despair. Absolutely loves me. Despair is done to oh. like this. Fuck you. This despair's gonna fuck up reality. How'd I miss that? What? Damn it. I suck at this. <laughs> suck at this. Why are my reaction so slow? Why is the cursor so fucking slow? This killing game will end in Oh come on, really? Everyone wants to feel despair. Despair is done to work like this. Shit. Despair's gonna fuck up reality here. This time, the thief is the despair of the bad. This killing game will end in despair. Everyone wants to feel despair. Despair is done. This despair is gonna fuck up reality. This time. The the there we go. Hope moves forward. I have to focus on that one. Jesus. I will never give up. Hope will never lose to despair. Huh? How's not giving up gonna help you, huh? Huh? Even if you won't give up, as long as you don't sacrifice someone else. I'll sacrifice myself. I knew you were gonna say it, Maki. Holy shit. Stop. What? You can't. If Kibo and I sacrifice ourselves, then Shuichi and Himiko live, right? And they can survive this absurd killing game. Maki? After listening to Kibo, I've decided I don't want this killing game to end with despair. That would just piss me off. Mamaki, I need you. Even if you only feel that way because I wrote you like that, just like with Kaito. Even then, I'll choose that ending if it means I can kill you. Even if I have to sacrifice my life, I will kill you. Sacrifice? Wait, Maki! I'm sorry. I've already made up my mind. But what's gonna happen to us? Really go back to the outside world? Maki, I can't repopulate with Himiko. I'll get locked up for that. What indeed? I told you over and over there's nothing for you out there. <laughs> Maki, you legally can't die. Exactly, right? I need you. Not only because I like you, but I need you. No, Sorry, Himiko. I like you too, but I'm fuck, sure come on. Everything is going to be okay. We'll definitely find Toad. What do you mean, hope? Suichi? What? I reject that hope. You Claire de Luna ass motherfucker. I. 
I refuse. I won't accept that hope. Shuichi, what's the matter? It's because of hope that this whole thing is happening. I reject that hope. I'll beat your ass if I have to, Suichi. Hope itself is the villain here. We suffer because of hope. Tsumugi isn't trying to make us despair. She wants us to trust in hope. So I say no. I reject that hope. Tsumugi wants us to trust in hope? What does that mean? The reason this madness has gone on 53 times. It's because of hope. It's Shit. because the audience wants hope. They want to see hope defeat despair in the end. It's Hope's Peak Academy all over again. So if we fight for hope, we just be giving them what they want. And the killings will never end. Don't you see? Despair is the ah, only shit. choice. Ah, shit. You're fucked up for doing that. The reason this madness has gone on 53 times, it's because of hope. It's because the audience wants hope. They want to see hope defeat despair in the end. It's Hope's Peak Academy all over again. So if we fight for hope, we just be giving them what they want. And the killings will never end. Don't you see? Despair is the only choice. I will cut down your words. Despair takes everything from people. Even their strength to press onward. That's why it's not possible for despair to be better. The people watching probably feel the same way. They want hope too. Shut up, Suichi. <laughs> Shut up. What? Even if it's fiction, everyone wants to feel hope. It gives them courage. And this killing game continues because we keep giving them the hope they want. While they ignore all the tragedies that we had to suffer to get there. Shuichi, that's... Then let's start the voting time! Oh, go fuck yourselves. What? The final vote! It's all gonna end here! You and your shitty hope! Wait! We're not finished talking! I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know what's gonna happen. Sweetie, you're a dumbass, dude. For real. Please, let me just ask one more thing. I have to know something before we vote. I can understand where Suichi's coming from, but holy shit. What is it? If Hope wins this final vote, Kibo and Maki will sacrifice themselves. You're really down with Maki killing herself? Come on. And you, Sumugi, the loser, will also be punished, correct? What kind of punishment will they receive? Please tell me what it is. Should I tell you? I never said anything about a punishment, did I? What? That's right. The punishment isn't the problem right now. The problem is... No, that is the problem. Because if the punishment is what I think it is, then... Everything would make sense. Including why Rantaro participated in another killing game. Suichi, what the hell are you talking about? Punishment is what you think it is. I mean, I always thought that Rantaro made some sort of deal that this would be the last killing game. Hmm. Rantaro? What does he have to do with this? You know the answer, Kibo. Is the punishment not being in Danganronpa? If you really are connected to the outside world, then I want you to find the answer. The final punishment. If it's the reason Rantaro participated in the killing game again after surviving. Does that mean they just get kicked out of the Danganronpa world? Punishment. This is it. They participate in the next game. 
I got it. The punishment is you have to participate in the next killing game, right? What? Yeah, I think so. The punishment after the final vote is to participate in another killing game. That's what Rantaro was talking about. You wanted this killing game, so you have to win it no matter what. No matter what. Something similar must have happened in the last killing game, and he was given a choice. He sacrificed himself and was forced to participate again. Okay. All this means is, if we choose hope here, the killing game won't end. Tsumugi will still be the mastermind, Kibo will still represent the viewers, and Maki will be the new ultimate survivor. The killing game will begin again. Don't you see? If hope wins, the killing won't stop. It's because hope wins that the killing never stops. It's what the people want. They want hope to win. They want the happy ending. That's how the killing game has gone on 53 times. The killing game persists because hope always wins? That's why I'm going to reject that hope. That's despair. You're going to choose despair to end the killing. I'm waiting for him to pull a fucking Riku type line from Kingdom Hearts where he's all like, Oh, so you reject the light. Are you part of the darkness? And he's like, No, I walk in the road between. The road to dawn. And then he just walks off. How boring. He walks off to head to the realm of darkness. What a fucking loser. But this is fine. Our audience loves despair, so this will please them too. After all, even if despair wins, the killing game still won't end. Then, hope has to win this game too. If we continue to win for hope, then this killing game will surely end someday. No, you don't get it. It's not going to end. It's going to keep happening over and over. Th then what are we supposed to do? When Maki said she was going to sacrifice herself just now, I thought, why? So many of our friends have sacrificed their lives. Why Maki? Why now? Why do we have to go through it again? The sorrow of losing Kaede and Kaito. And what about those other motherfuckers? I don't care. <laughs> Why do we have to feel that sadness over and over and over again? Why do we have to bear that burden? Well, I don't care how much the audience wants it. I'm not going to feel that way anymore. I don't want anyone to feel that way anymore. Even if this is fiction, even if we're all fictional, the pain in my heart is real. The sadness I feel when I lose the people I love is real. I won't forget you feel bad for Karekio? He's a fucking murderer. This is what the world wants. Well, I guess he wasn't a murderer before coming to Dangarampa. Then I reject that world. I'll fight the world that inflicts suffering for entertainment. Fight the outside world? It doesn't matter what you do. Oh, Suichi, you want to catch the hands? You better fucking be ready. No matter so what I'm saying. your character does or says, it's just fiction to the outside world. Then I'll fight the outside world from within this fiction. From within this fiction? I'll fight them from within How? this fiction. He starts making out with Kibo. He's like, you like this, huh? <laughs> I refuse to vote. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for a stalemate. Refuse to vote? Monokuma said that if we don't vote, we'll be killed for breaking the rules. Yes, I know. That's why I'm doing it. If this ends without a single vote being cast for hope or despair, the audience would hate it. They'd never accept an ending like that. So I abstain. I refuse to give the outside world the ending at once. Actually, I kind of expected this outcome, so... <laughs> this is what I was thinking about, where it's like something bad would happen. <laughs> I won't vote for Kibo or Tsumugi. I reject both hope and despair. Hope won't end the killing game? If that's true, then this feeling that I must win for hope is... Ah, oh, shit. What am I supposed to do? I 
I'll put a stop to this killing game. You can't stop it! You found your rampa ends! I'll be out of a job! Even if this is all fake, our suffering and pain is real. It was rough for me, too! It's a death thing! What the fuck you gonna do? Ain't it better to just let it end with despair? I reject both hope and despair. I reject a world that would make us do this. Which is why I abstain from voting. So this won't end in hope or despair. I have nothing to use this on. You can't throw away your futures. Hope is contagious. I just thought about it. I didn't even... I didn't even... I don't know. I just thought about it. It was like an instinct. I was like, what if I just... Kibo, what are you doing? Did your inner voice really tell you to do that? Did it tell you to reject hope? No. My inner voice is still telling me not to give up on hope. But if that hope demands tragedy from us, then I cannot trust it. I may be a robot, but the thought of my friends dying still fills me with sadness. I don't want anyone else to feel this way. So, I will abandon hope. Do you know what will happen if you do that? To defy the audience? I don't give a damn. This killing game is over anyway. New characters are created just to show the outside world a fictional hope. They get written into these killing games, forced to betray one another. And at the end of the slaughter, the tragedy, the despair, hope always wins. Well, I've had enough of it. We're gonna end this right now. We won't let it end the way they want. We won't make a good ending or a bad one. To end this killing game, and end it forever. We will reject Dongan Ranpa. Shuichi. Tsumugi, you were right. I'm weak. I'm weaker than everyone else. If I didn't have my friends, I'd be useless. That's true even now. If Kibo and Maki didn't stand up, I would have ended it all right then. But it's because I'm weak and because I lost my way that I finally realized. I finally realized how cruel this hope really is. Hold on, everyone. If we keep thinking, we can find a better ending. And Kimiko, Maki, will you abstain from voting with me? Yeah. Abstain from voting? You can't do that. All three of you will be killed if you do. You guys really want to commit suicide? It's still a sin to throw your life away, even if your life is fictional. You've been fighting so hard to survive, but now you're gonna give up? Such foolishness! To cast your life away is the height of stupidity. Uh, I... Kimiko, we can put an end to this insane killing game. We're gonna use our lives to end this madness. Use our lives? But Himiko, you have to choose, okay? You can't look away. You can't back down. You have to choose. Only those who have found the truth can choose their destiny. Oh my god, I'm playing as Himiko. <laughs> what the fuck? We can put an end to this killing game. We can put an end to these killing games that everyone out there wants so bad. So then I... Use life. If we refuse to vote, we all die. To choose death is to blaspheme against life itself! Hope and despair. Neither the victor. No one would want an ending like that. You would throw your life away for that? That would be a meaningless death. I don't, I don't, what? I'm a little confused here. 
If we refuse to vote, we all die. To choose death is to blaspheme against life itself. Hope and despair. Neither the victor. No one would want an ending like that. You would throw your life away for that? That would be a meaningless death. No, it wouldn't. Our lives are our strongest weapons. And with these weapons, we revolt the beast of my world. I agree with that. I'm gonna put an end to it. <laughs> I agree with that. Even if I'm a fictional character, my life is real. That's why killing games are fun, right? It's fun to see two lives clash, right? I won't let you use my life for some show. I'm gonna use my life to end this killing game. So Tanko, Angie, and all the past victims can rest in peace. Use the only weapon I've got. I'll use my life to put an end to this killing game. What? Suicide is suicide, no matter what your reason is. Perhaps that thought is just another work of fiction, following along my outline. It could be a part of my script, just like Maki falling for Kaito, you know? Why do you keep bringing that up? Because <laughs> if none of you vote, and I do, then I'll be the only one who survives! Doesn't that sound exactly like something the big bad mastermind would come up with? It's okay, Maki. Believe in me. And believe in yourself, just like you believed in Kaito. Believe in myself? That's why you have to fight, even if you're scared. Because you have that strength. Come on! It'd be a lousy story if the hero gave up so easily. And now I'm Maki. I love that hers is red. <laughs> I love it. My desire to end this killing game may be fictional. And the mastermind as the sole survivor would be a convenient ending for her. All of that might be implanted as well, just like my feelings for Kaito. Everything's fiction, story written by someone. But even then I... I will use my life! Is fiction. It's because of everyone's sacrifices that we've come this far. Their deaths have to be more than just fiction. There must be something we can do. You mean to live your lives for them as well. We're going to use this fiction to change reality. We're going to end doggone run. I'll use my life to I do it. I believe in myself. Even if everything is fictional, I'll believe in my feelings. If I can't believe in my feelings, then my existence will have no meaning. If we can change reality, then we won't be just fiction. Our lives will have significance. And hopefully, my feelings will have significance too. You say that it's okay for everyone to die together? I'm gonna make it out like Toy Story 3. <laughs> You know what I mean? Man, why do you guys want to die so badly? It's not that I want to die. We fought so hard to survive. Of course we don't want to die. But it's not just about us. Everyone who died in the killing games felt the same way. They were all desperate to live. They wanted to survive. For themselves and for someone else. That desire isn't fictional to us. That pain isn't fictional to us. To us, the killing game is real tragedy. That's why we have to stop it. We won't let this happen ever again. Like I told you, it's not going to stop. Because that's what the world wants. As long as the world wants killing games, Danganronpa will not end. Then we have to change it. There's no way you can change it. Fiction could never change the real- You don't believe in the power of fiction? Huh? 
Yeah, you can't say fiction can't change things. Look at the fucking, look at the dudes who are making like those, those like fucking rocket gauntlets and shit. Flying around like Iron Man and shit. It's crazy. It may not be a physical power, but our wish will surely be received by someone. If fiction has the power to touch people's hearts, then that power can change the world. That is what I believe. I will also abandon my vote, just as Shuichi suggested. Then it's decided. We all abstain from voting. We reject hope and despair. We refuse to bow to the demands of the outside world. Are you serious? Are you getting flustered? Your costume changes are less frequent now. Are you crazy? If you do that, only I, the mastermind, will survive, you know? And you'll be lonely by yourself, you piece of shit. What about hope? What about despair? Do whatever you want with hope and despair. We've already decided to quit this killing game. I don't care about this fictional world. That's right. This class trial is over. Now, start voting time. Voting time? No, not yet. This game is gonna continue. The killing game will continue. This class trial will go on forever and ever. Oh my god. <laughs> In the fucking game. Jesus. This game is gonna keep going. And this class trial ain't over yet either. You really want the killing game to end? You really want Dongon Rampa to end? Come on, even if we keep going back and forth. Let's keep this game going. I won't let it be voting time yet. <laughs> I don't know why it's a lie. And this class trail ain't over yet either. You really want the killing game to end? You really want Dongon Rampa to end? Come on, even if we keep going back and forth. Let's keep this game going. I won't let it be voting time yet. I guess I'll use it on this game, right? I stop the game, right? Oh. I'm abandoning this game. I won't play your game anymore, Monokuma. Now start the vote. Oh my god, guys, you want to become famous? <laughs> Head to bigfollows.com, come big famous follow. I won't let you abandon this game. I definitely won't let you! Yeah, I still need you guys to keep playing the game. Hangman's hey, Gambit. Four letter word. Is it stop? Why is it hope? Uh. Where's the E? There we go. I see now. Yeah, we want to keep enjoying the game. Let's put this all behind us. Dang, Rapa will never end. Is it really over? Would you like to try? What? No. I'm gonna forfeit this game. Oh! I guess I just do nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there. Come on. Game over. Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing nothing. Let's have more fun with the game. Let's have lots and lots of fun with Dongon Rampa. I refuse. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here. So, uh, how about them, how about the weather? How about them taxes, you know? 
I'm actually really hungry right now, to be honest. Nuh-uh, nope. Just gonna... Hmm. I don't think I'll have chicken this morning. We're not here for your entertainment. We're trying to survive. You're the ones who want us to be entertaining. If you're gonna complain, perhaps you should just stop watching. Even if we have to make the entire audience hate us, we're not going to stop. We're going to end our tragedy here. Just give up already and start voting time. All four of us will abstain from voting, so you'll be the only one who survives. Are you okay with that, Kibo? Is your inner voice telling you that's okay? Does the outside world really want that? Do they want Danganronpa to end? No, not really, but... If they can live in peace, then why not? You know? Hey! What are they saying? What's your inner voice saying? My inner voice doesn't matter anymore. I'm going to end this game with my fr- Uh, what? <gasps> Kibo? Kibo? What's wrong? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> See? They don't want this kind of ending. They want the killing games to continue. We're going around in circles, damn it. That is the outside world's decision. What? Isn't that right, Kibo? Yes. My inner voice will not accept an ending without hope or despair. Kibo! Kibo, get a hold of yourself! That's not possible. The Kibo you see there isn't the one you know. Like I said, you can't defy the audience when you're their surrogate. It's because he did such a silly thing that he's feeling the audience's anger now. Oh no, you've angered Twitter. <laughs> Your life is over. What do you mean? What's happening to Kibo? Since Kibo kept defying the audience, they took a vote and decided... The troublesome personality of his should be erased. Oh no, come on, Kibo, no. His personality was erased? How cruel can you guys be? How long are you gonna play with our lives? But that's the decision of the outside world. Don't just end, Danganronpa. We supported you, you owe us. I don't owe you shit. And I paid for this game, fuck you. That's what they said. So it doesn't matter how much you fight, you can't change the outside world! Cause the outside world still wants Danganronpa! That won't change! What did you say? So do you still want to throw your lives away? Even if it changes nothing? Kibo, fight back! Kibo! Kibo? Just break the antenna off your head. But your choice is not wrong. The real enemy is the outside world who is enjoying this killing game. So please, use me to change, to change the world. Kibo. Kibo! He's completely erased. That makes me sad too, you know. He was a character I created. But this is the end. The outside world rejects your decision. So no matter how you use your lives, it won't change anything. Then I'll change it. Kibo gave us this one chance. If Kibo is doing what the outside world is telling him, we just have to convince him. I know we can change the world. We owe it to Kibo to try. 
I said it's impossible! For fiction to change the real world... The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Yeah? You can even change the world. No, we will change the world. For ourselves and everyone who died. You're going to throw your lives away for those who have died? You've got to survive this killing game. If you die now, it's all over. Even if we die, it's not the end. We've been running around in circles, guys. Our friends who died gave Come us Come on. Life, and we changed because of that. If we can inspire change in others, then that love will live on. That love will tear down the wall between fiction and reality, and it will live on forever. That's why I'm going to change the world. As long as I have their love, I will change it. Even if this whole story is a lie, I will use that lie to change the world. That's right. We're not going to just be fiction. Shuichi, you can change this world because you're Kaito's sidekick. Bitch, please. He was my sidekick. There's no <laughs> way you can persuade them like that. They all love the killing games. They can't get enough Dungan Rumpa. I'm giving the world what it wants. I won't let hypocrites interfere. Kibo, let me hear the voices of the outside world. And let them hear me. Wait, so what's going on? Oh, shit. Oh. This isn't my Dungan Rumpa. I'm a longtime fan. Do you realize how much I've given to the show? What? I'm gonna be pissed if there isn't a happy ending. Man, this debate is getting wet. Shit, why am I, I fucking up so bad? Like this. I'm this is getting way too mad. Fuck! This isn't my Dungan Rama. I'm a longtime fan. Do you realize how much I've given to the show? I can't I can't see you. Dude. I can't see you shit at all. They're just blending in. This is getting way too meta. This isn't my Dungan Ronda. I'm a longtime fan. I'm not usually this bad at this. Do you just... realize how much I've given to the show? I'm gonna be pissed if there isn't a happy ending. Man, this debate is getting whack. I don't like twists like this. This is getting way too meta. This isn't my Dungan Ronda. I'm a longtime fan. It's hard for me to see this shit. Fuck. No way fiction can change the world. Lol. Who the fuck threw Lol in there? for a damn lecture. Hey, what about little Miss Assassin's punishment? Preaching characters are so annoying. Man, I was rooting for the detective. This guy should have died instead of Kaede. Death makes the characters better. Death is the point of Danganronpa. I'm not here for a damn lecture. Hey, what about Little Miss Assassin's punishment? Preaching characters are so annoying. Man, I was rooting for the detective. Oh shit, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that to me? Death makes the characters better. Death is the point of Danganronpa. I'm getting the hang of it. Hey, what about Little Miss Assassin's Punishment? Preachy characters are so annoying. Shit. Killing games are the best form of entertainment. The killing game is wrong. I won't let you use our lives for entertainment. Hope versus despair. Hope. No one. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Despair. Oh, shit. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. All right, just slow down a bit, damn it. All right. This ending sucks. Hope, hope, despair, despair, hope, hope, despair, despair, hope, hope, despair, despair, hope, hope, despair, despair, hope, hope, hope versus despair. Pick one. Despair, hope, despair, hope, despair, hope. Shut the hell up! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! This ending sucks! Hope! Hope! Despair! Despair! 
What is it? A pointless death because no one voted is the worst ending our ever. Weapons? What? Is not. Wait. Our... I have no idea Hope what the fuck I'm doing. The fuck a pointless doing here? death because no one voted is the worst ending ever. Uh, it's not pointless. Our lives are weapons. I think. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> that one really confused me. We can't I gotta start from the beginning, don't I? Ah, oh, shit. There's too much blue that I can't see what the this fuck I'm doing. I'm a long time fan. Do you realize how much I've given to this show? I'm gonna be pissed if My rhythm is not that ending. bad. Are you fucking Man, serious? Come on. I don't like twists like this. This is getting way too meta. Oh my god. This isn't my Don Don Rock. I'm a long time fan. Do you realize how much I've given to this show? I'm gonna be pissed if there isn't a happy ending. Man, this debate is getting wet. I don't like twists like this. This is getting way too meta. This isn't my Don Don Rock. I'm a longtime fan. Do you realize how much I've given to this show? I'm gonna be pissed if there isn't a happy ending. Man, this debate is getting wet. I don't. Okay. No way fiction can change the world. Lol. Fiction has the power to change reality. I'm not here for a damn I gotta really focus on this shit. Death makes the characters better. Death is the point of Dongan Rompa. I'm not here for a damn lecture. Hey, what about Little Miss Assassin's punishment? Preachy characters are so annoying. Man, I was rooting for the detective. This guy should have died instead of Kaede. Death makes the characters better. Death is the point of Dongan Rompa. I'm not here for a damn lecture. Hey, what about Little Miss Assassin's punishment? Preachy characters are so annoying. Okay. Killing games are the best form of entertainment. I won't let you use our lives for entertainment. Hope versus despair. Hope. Hope. Despair. 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 Hope. 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 Despair. 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 Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. This ending sucks. Hope. Hope. Despair. Despair. Hope. Hope. Despair. Despair. Hope. Hope. Despair. Despair. Hope. Hope. Despair. Despair. Hope. Hope. Hope versus despair. Big one. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Despair! Hope! 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 Despair! Despair! Hope! 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 Despair! Hope!
because no one voted is the worst it's not a point with our lives or our weapons okay use our lives to change the world there we go what is this shit? Really you can't just end it out of the blue like Who this. Who cares if they die? They're not free. They're just killing each other already. Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! We want more of the killing game. I need that sweet closure. Well, hopefully there's another season. There's no way they'd let it end like this. I'm a longtime fan. Do you realize how much I've given to the show? The final blow. Dangan Rampa will never end. Will it? We'll end Dangan with our own hands. Together. Here we go. We're gonna end Dangan Rampa. Ha! That was difficult. Thanks for the help, there, Ken. Jesus. I needed that. What just happened? Kibo? Like I said, it's pointless. The outside world won't let Danganronpa end. Everyone loves Danganronpa. That's reality. Killing Game Entertainment will continue forever! Now then, let's proceed with voting time! <laughs> I think hopeful Kibo should vote for despairing Sumugi, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Because that's what the outside world wants to see. Let's give it everything we've got. Presenting one last voting time. All right. I abstain. I will not press anything. Right now, I'm currently thinking what I'm going to eat after this, because I have not eaten anything. <laughs> God, I'm really hoping that whatever fucking stomach virus I have right now is gone. I would love to have some food, you know? You did right, Himiko. The three of us might be penalized for abstaining to vote, but what's going to happen to Kibo and Sumugi? If Kibo is controlled by the outside world, he must have voted for Sumugi. Then what about Sumugi? If she had cast one vote for Kibo, then it would be a tie, but... There's no way she would do that. She voted for herself. Oh, there's no need to worry about that. I didn't vote either. What? What? Just as I thought. You wanted Hope to win. That's not it. We're friends, aren't we? There's no way I'd abandon you guys. Oh, go fuck yourself, Samugi. Friends? You've got no right saying that now! <laughs> I turned over a new leaf. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I hope you're not lying because you're kind of cool. So, since the four of us abstained from voting, only Kibo's vote counts. No matter who he voted for, the only one who survives is Kibo. So in other words, the winner is Hope. But Kibo said earlier that he'd sacrifice himself and take the punishment, right? So we're going to punish him. He'll be participating in the next killing game. Hold it. Why are you punishing Kibo? If Kibo survives, then there's no need for him to be sacrificed. It doesn't work like that. He needs to follow through on his words. That's not fair! Are you twisting the rules again? He needs to follow through on his words, something you couldn't even do. It's fine, because this is all fiction. Maybe it's a bit forced, but that's fiction for you, right? Well, since I didn't vote, I'll be killed with you guys. Yep, I called it. Junko always kills herself at the end. But I'll accept my death. Now go fuck yourself. If you guys are willing to die to stop the killing game, I'll die to continue it. Even if it's just fiction, I gave my life to make it. I've given my life 
to Danganronpa. You need some help. And how about this for the next plot line? Hope has won, but the lone survivor, Kibo, remains trapped. Now he'll challenge the killing game anew. Will he be able to grasp true hope? Yeah, an ending like that can work, right? What? This is the worst possible ending. But this is bad. At this rate, our deaths will be meaningless. Well, we already know the Look at Suichi, he's like, yeah, I know. Protocol. He's like, uh-huh. Monokuma, please tell us the results. Okay, then let's begin. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Who will win? Hope <laughs> He's your therapist, Samugi. <laughs> For real. Who won the vote? Ha ha! Fuck you, we're all dead. You still get your points. Straight A's, though. What? Why? All five people abstained from voting? What did you say? What's going on? Didn't keep a vote? <laughs> Ew, I'm relieved. It, it can't Wh be. What is this? Okay. The world has changed. What? Huh? That's true. If Kiba refused to vote, that means the world has changed. It means the audience chose not to vote as well. That's it. They rejected this killing game. What is that? What? <laughs> so you're right. That's what you get for breaking the rules like that. Why? Hold on. Is that really okay? Taking Rampa is going to end? The killing game full of tense standoffs and backstabbing amongst friends? Stop! It's just going to abruptly end with season... Season 53? Is that really okay? All the outside viewers are like, Hey guys, wanna go play Fortnite? Her is crazy new thing. They put fucking Ryu in that shit. He's from Street Fighter, right? Huh? No. Your words can't reach them anymore. That's it. You never appreciated us. And it looks like you didn't appreciate the power of fiction. God, that's such... <laughs> what the fuck am I reading? It's so lame. <laughs> uh, the power of fiction. I gotta respect it, though. No one wants you anymore. No one wants to hear your sick, twisted stories anymore. It's over. And this is it. It's finished. <laughs> it really is the end, isn't it? So, what are we going to do now? Now that it's over, there's no need for any punishment. No, no. What a half-assed ending. This is no way to end Dangarampa. Yeah. No, it needs to end with the punishment, at the very least. Mm. Oh, I see. Hey. Now, if we continue to live after this, the choice we made won't really matter. The people will just g just want another killing game, so... That's true. So the only way we can stop this killing game is to kill ourselves. <sighs> God. Yeah. Got it. So let's just get it over with. Oh. It's gonna end with everyone being annihilated? They're like, what happened if they died in Toy Story 3? <laughs> I never expected an ending like that, so I don't have a punishment ready. Yeah. So I'll just leave it to Kibo. Yes. Alright, I'll do it. I'll be the one who ends this killing game. I'll bring this fiction to an end. It's the will of the outside world. Destroy this entire fictional world and end the killing game. That is what the outside world wants. <laughs> I worked hard to keep this going for 53 seasons, and now it's all over. Kibo looks like Sans. 
possessed him. Kibo looks like he's ready to go like, I must go now. My planet needs me. Well, that's fine. If this is a world without killing games now, no. I don't want to be a part of it. I have no interest in a world without Danganronpa. You need help! I guess that this is it for us. No survivors. It's kind of a bummer. It's okay. But now it's all over. We're the last ones to suffer from the killing games. Okay. Come on, everyone. You should be proud. We were able to change the world in the end. Because? If this is all just fiction, then everything we've achieved up till now might be a lie. But those lies, they changed the world. Even if we're just fictional characters, someone made up. That's it! We were able to change the world. Oh, right! You're right! I feel the same way. My plan was such a flawless copy, it even failed right at the end. So I should be able to hold my head up high! <laughs> as the... As the... What? Cosplay cat criminal? Ew. <laughs> that was nasty. I don't like that. Huh? A cosplay cat criminal? Everyone! Very well. Let's begin. Or rather, let's send this. This is the will of the outside world. Isn't this why the... <laughs> Didn't the creators of Danganronpa leave uh, Spike Chunsoft? Dude, are you fucking serious? Oh my god, let me shut up. That boy made like the fucking Iron Giant. <laughs> he said, Superman <laughs> fucking blew up in the sky. Oh no. <laughs> no. It's over. It's all over. Oh man. There's nothing after this. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Was it confirmed that they're that they said that the Danganronpa series wasn't ending? I felt like I heard that before. I could be wrong though. Damn. Well, I guess we'll sit here until after the credits. Maybe something will happen. I really hope that it doesn't though. <laughs> and if. If this is the end of Danganronpa, you know what? I wouldn't be upset. All good things have to come to an end. Well, good things. You know. <laughs> Quote unquote good things. Right? Uh, gotta say, compared now that I finish this, compared to all the other Danganronpas, right? I think we can all safely say that the lowest point is probably, um, <laughs> it's probably. Ultra the Spirit Girls, right? Because that, that game is just buggy as fuck sometimes. But... I'm not... I'm not sure how I feel about this, you know? The ending really makes the difference. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I like this more or less than Danganronpa 2. 
Because I really like Danganronpa 2. Like, I really like Danganronpa 2. It was really good. Fuck. I have, I have nothing to say about this. Usually this is the point where I sit here and I talk about the game, right? I mean, I am glad that I held off on playing this for so many years. Because, you know, it would have been. Probably, I probably would have got spoiled way more. Some people tend to get really excited about Danganronpa, right? Um, I still feel bad that I was spoiled on what I was spoiled on, right? But the ending made up for that because I didn't expect all this other shit. So it didn't ruin my enjoyment of the game. I liked it a lot. Characters were fun. It's a pretty good cast of characters. You know, usually, uh, usually in Danganronpa, I have like that. There's like that one. Usually have like one or two characters that you're like, eh, I don't care if they live or die. But this one, all the characters are pretty good. I hated Kokichi, but that's because he was just written to be a jackass. You know, he's written good to be a jackass. Rest in peace, Mew. I love you. Maki's dead now. They're all dead. The world of Danganronpa is gone. Rest in peace, Gonta. Angie's a fucking psychopath. <laughs> I just need your blood. No, you don't. Get away from me. Um, I still did not get to see the, uh, the hotel, uh, um, scenes or whatever. I tried to get, well, I did get one of the, uh, the room keys or whatever the fuck they're called. Key of love or whatever the hell it's called. I, tr I got it, but by the time I got it, it was at, you know, part of the chapter where Monokuma wasn't available, so he wasn't going to fucking show up anyways. And then after that, we didn't have any free time at all, so. I got it too late. Alright, guess I'll use it in the, um, in the optional stuff. Which, I want to see what the optional stuff is. Because usually at the end of Danganronpa, they give you, like... They give you, like, the optional game. Where it's just, like, kind of a dating sim or some shit. And then they also give you, like, a novel or some shit. To read. And I read the novels. I like them. Danganronpa if was pretty good. Because Mugro was a good guy. I like Mugro. And she had a crush on Makoto, too. That was interesting. And Makoto got, like, stabbed. <laughs> with a spike. Am I going to play the extras in here? I'm not sure. Right? Because we do really... I've been playing Danganronpa V3 on... Well, because of my schedule, for the most part, I only had like two days within the week to stream. Like, long sessions like this, and Danganronpa is a long-ass game. But, um... So, I've been doing this since... I think the beginning of August, maybe? I think that's how long I've been doing this for. And we're like in the mid of September now. So we might just, there's other things I gotta get to move on to, right? You have acquired the new theme Danganronpa 53. Employee badge. Play cushion. To each their own roulette. Easter egg. You must save the game before you can clear the data. Okay. Strongly recommend that you save your game. I have a million save files. Let's go back. Let's see when the fuck I actually started this playthrough. Because I just rotate my saves. Press any button. That's what I'm doing. I'm literally pressing any button. You can hear it. What? What's going on? Oh, okay. You know what? I should have realized that, that that wasn't a real screen once I pressed the fucking log button. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, somehow. You guys survived, you pieces of shit. I'm sort of stuck here. Someone help me out. Himiko, careful. Time to repopulate the planet, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute. If the dome is destroyed and the sky is still there, that means the world is fine, right? Are they in the outside world? Yeah, I'm saved. We made it. I'm really surprised you survived, Himiko. But I'm really happy. Hey, how were we saved? 
Why are we still alive? It was the will of the world. Uh, yeah, why are we alive? I wonder... The killing game is over. The class trials are over. And the fictional world is over. So then, where are we? Another fictional world? After the fiction has ended? What's left for us here? Everyone's killing game. Closing ceremony. Is that... What? We were silent for a long while, staring into the other side. <laughs> uh, through all those events, somehow, Suichi is still fine. Isahego is still fine. And they continue to torture us. The outside world. 53 times, hope move forward. 53 times, the suffering continued. The world on the other side of the fiction. The real world. So, what do we do now? Repopulate the planet, baby. Aww. We didn't think of a plan for what to do after. I thought that was the end of us back there. But we survived. And that's the truth. Man in Time was pre-game Suichi? Okay. Yeah, I was like, there was a moment, there was a split moment where I went like, wait, is that Makoto? But then I saw the hair and I'm like, no, it's probably Suichi at the beginning of the game. He's back to being a real boy. I'm a real boy! Okay. It seems as though we don't really have a choice. We can't stay here anymore. Hey. But I don't get it. Seriously, how are we still alive? When this world destroyed itself, I thought we would go down with it. You're right. Kibo probably saved us. Mm. He made sure we didn't die. Why? But why? Would he do that? There's no point in us escaping to the outside world. We're just fictional characters. Did Kibo save us because he was acting on what the outside world wanted? Do we have the power to make fictional characters real? Oh, well, then I got a couple of waifus I need to bring over. Excuse me. No. Then maybe this is what the outside world wanted. Yeah. For us to live? Okay. That's right. In addition to ending all this, the outside world wanted us to live. I suppose the outside world wanted this lie to become the truth. <laughs> so come on, everyone. Let's head outside with confidence. You know, once the virus is over, I'm going to start walking around the streets and I'm just going to look at anyone who's, like, very pale and looks like they shopped at Hot Topic and have long eyelashes. I'm going to be like, you survived the killing game? Are you Suichi? Are you, are you Maki? And then I'll quickly get arrested. Remember, the outside world is waiting. To the outside world, huh? I wonder what kind of world it is. <sighs> a peaceful world with no fighting and no despair? That's what Samuki said, right? <laughs> oh, you dumb simpleton. Imagine escaping the killing game and you just walk into the pandemic. <laughs> and you're like, I thought it was peaceful here. Riots in the streets. You're right. Yeah. She wasn't lying. <laughs> It might be a lie? Because... Remember, the last thing Samugi said. My plan was such flawless copy, it even failed right at the end. So I should be able to hold my head up high as... as the cosplay cat criminal. Right? That's so weird for me to say. If I remember correctly... She said a copy. That means she must have been copying someone, right? What? What does that mean? <laughs> What indeed? What did you say? What? You don't know? But... Oh well, I have some theories. Perhaps Hope Speak Academy and the Remnants of Despair really exist. Maybe Smoogie was just bashing her performance on them. Bashing? Basing her performance on them. Hey! So Smoogie lied about the whole world being just fiction? Excuse me. Being just fiction? What did you say? What? A surprise ending? 
this is the moment where like the writers were like this is the perfect ending and then corporate walked in and they said motherfucker you better not do that <laughs> you better make this shit canon no one will buy our games after this it will be meaningless no no i don't really know for sure she might have been lying when she said copy hmm. but she was telling the truth then it makes sense that it was that that was a lie what what do you mean that that's what Samuki showed us the way we, uh, the way we were when we first arrived huh huh what am i wearing how nice oh it looks good now you look more like ultimates huh ultimates really so next up the memories you've all been waiting for you guys are ready oh yeah get ready once the seal is broken We'll be in the domain of the killing game. Killing game? Could it be? You mean we were selected? Man, I can't wait to die. All right. We got picked? Really? Dude, I'm just imagining everyone in that room is going like, we were selected? Yo, I can't wait to fucking kill you. <laughs> oh, really? I'm selected for it too? Damn, I'll kill all of you. But. I still don't believe it. I can't believe that any of us would volunteer for this. Hey Miko, I want to see your fucking audition video. Did you just walk and go like, Motherfucker, I'll kill everybody in this goddamn game. <laughs> we forgot everything about our old selves after the first flashback light, didn't we? If I remember correctly. That's what Tsumugi said, but something's been bugging me about it. Even if we were obsessed with the killing game, I still can't believe he would participate in it. I just don't believe it. <laughs> Speak for yourself, one of them chose to be the ultimate assassin. Talk about easy mode. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think I would participate in that. Meanwhile, Maki shows up like, I would be the ultimate assassin, and I would kill everybody, and nobody will know it's me. And then she's like shaking with anticipation. I don't really have any logic behind that. One of Kaito's hunches, huh? What's the point? Anyways, there's no way for us to check when we apply to the academy, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Jeez. What? We can't check? Hmm. So in the end, we still don't know what was true or not. <sighs> Fictional world ends here, and the real world lies out there. Perhaps just beyond here is the truth. But maybe it isn't. Me. Maybe it's all still fiction in that world, or maybe Danganronpa still continues in that world, or <laughs> or maybe the outside world is the same as this world. Cruel, unusual punishment, just for living. It might be a world filled with lies. Hmm. Well, if we can, well, if we can get out from here, we'll know for sure. But. Yeah, but I feel like there's not much meaning in truth and lies. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Hmm. I mean that even if something's a lie, even if it's fiction... Remember! If it has the power to change the world, then it must contain some kind of truth. Aren't we proof of that? In this fictional world, we overcame all these fictional struggles. But those things changed us, and we were able to change the world. So it doesn't really matter where the truth ends and where the lies begin. If lies can change the world just as well as the truth can, then lies are just another way of telling the truth. Some lies can lead the world to hope. Some truths can lead the world to despair. So I don't think anyone can really say which is more right in the end. I'm just still crossing my finger hoping that Makoto and, and Kyoko aren't dead. Oh, fuck that guy. I forgot his fucking name from Ultra Despair. Dude with the fucking cast on his arm. That guy's an asshole. I guess it's not important whether it's a truth or lie. Just what it leads to. Okay. Yeah, that's what I believe. He's staying with one foot in fiction and one foot in reality. Then we need to see for ourselves whether this fictional world has changed the outside world. And what we can do from this point on. You're right. We can't stay in this fictional world forever. It's already over. <laughs> they just walk out, and since it's the real world, all their beautiful anime 
features disappear and they're just like ugly people and they're like no take me back i want to be young forever we gotta take all the experience we earned in this world and go on to the next yeah let's go we'll see what this world gained and what it lost and see. all the rest Oh, Toa, ultimate disgusting. Oh, yeah, Toa. Yeah, that dude was, uh, that dude was awesome shit. Like, I keep forgetting that, like, that Toko and, um, I can't remember. Why can't I remember Makoto's sister's name? Why can't, help me out here, please. <laughs> yeah, but I, I can't, I forgot that Toko was like, hey, Toa, what's up? And he's all like, oh, yeah, I prefer them younger as young as possible really and i'm like whoa hold up whoa dude you're crazy let's find out together to the other side of this world to the other side of fiction let's find out together it was wait what komaru thank you shit Oh, I remember now. The moment I said her name, I just remember Toko going, I guess your name is Kamaru now, huh? And I'm like, what? <laughs> you fucking freaks? It's what we could accomplish. Are they on our shadows? Are our friends behind us? No? Okay, I was hoping to see something crazy there. The story lives on! I'm sure, even now. Even on the other side, it lives on there as well. And thus, the story lives on. But this lie, was this lie able to change something? Was this lie able to change someone? Was this lie able to change the world? If it was able to change even the smallest thing, Then, the story isn't over. I'm waiting for, like, it to do the Kingdom Hearts thing where it says, Danganronpa, remind. <laughs> Fucking stupid shit. Alright, let's get that. I want to see what's on that fucking main menu screen. Is it going to work this time? Hey, there we go. Load game. We started... Ooh. What the fuck, for real? Why did I skip a whole month? What happened there? What happened there? <laughs> Why'd I skip a whole month? <laughs> no fucking way. What the hell was I doing? For those with- Oh, I remember now! Fuck! Yeah, I had to stop streaming. Because, um... Because fucking, uh, around this time is when my fucking- When, like, I tore a muscle in my back. That's what happened. And I was out of it for a while. Jesus, fuck. I totally forgot about that shit, yeah. My back was fucked up. So we've been playing this for like three months, oh shit. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see what's on the uh, main menu. Alright, talent plan. Salmon. Strengthen your bonds with your fellow students. Train the students at Hope Speak Academy. What the fuck is the difference? What's this one? This content hasn't been unlocked yet. Talent development? What? This is the store, right? What is this shit? 
I don't want to start anything. Yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna skip it. I'm not gonna do that. We already streamed for far too long. I just want to see what the fuck's going on. What? In this mode, you choose any character you like and spend three years at the Academy. What? Is this what they're selling separate from, like, the Danganronpa collection? That they just announced? I'm confused. Place you to spare course. Don't worry about it. As long as you make the goal, you get to pick your course. Choose your course based on how you like to develop the character. So... What talent will they develop over three years? What's the fucking point to this? All right. So long. V3 characters? I guess you... Okay, so this is what they're selling separate. Alright. What the fuck is this? Salmon team. From the beginning. Is this the dating sim shit right here? Hey. We're just gonna skip it. We're just gonna skip it. I need to know what the hell's going on here. Ding dong. Thanks for pairing with uh, keep bastards waiting, right. everyone makes a gym. Okay. Do I really gotta walk my ass all the way to the gym? Okay, cool. Uh huh. And all you guys are super dead. <laughs> Monocub show up, and then Monokuma shows up, and all this other bullshit. There we go. Ultimate Academy get the juveniles, headmaster, blah blah. Yeah. Mode. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about that. It's just a side joke. As long as you guys have fun life at the academy, it's all right by me. <laughs> oh, hi, Ghost Pookie. How's it going? I'm just. We just finished Danganronpa V3. We just finished the story, and I'm just checking the uh, the two modes that were just added in because I just want to know what the hell's going on, right? One of them's like a board game. And I think this is the dating sim mode. Right? Am I still reeling? Yeah, I guess this is the dating sim mode. Oh. Yeah, okay, there it is, day one. Alright, cool. So, what's the other one? What's the last one? What's the last mode? Because I was hoping to get kind of a novel, so I can read it on my own time, like they do with the other games. Do you guys know what this is? Extra, this is the route. Art gallery. <laughs> we didn't... Wait, what? Bond level one. Oh, these are just the bond stuff. How do you unlock the stuff for Kaede, too? Like Kaede's bonds, can you... You can do that, right? Who knows? Okay. Oh. Let's see. RPG? Okay. Well... I'll fuck with these on my own time, right? just to see what the hell is going on. But, um, yeah. Well, Dagger on V3, that's interesting. Everything just happened is interesting. Um, what I would like to do for the next stream is I would like to go back into the world of Corpse Party, because where I last left off was with Corpse Parties that we played Book of Shadows. 
and we finished that off. And since, you know, the spooky times are coming, I would like to get back into the horror stuff. With, uh, what, what's the game? Which one is it? Look, it's not... I forgot which course party it is. Fuck. <laughs> it's not, we're not doing a birthday bash. We're doing... We're doing the one that comes before the second one. Which is weird, because it's technically like the fourth game or some shit. I don't know. Whatever. But we're going to be going back into Corpse Party, right? As for Danganronpa, this is going to be the end for V3, because we got to get a move on. And on my channel right now, I am playing through Psychonauts 2. I need to upload those videos today. I've been holding off on that for a week. So, yikes. And, uh... Recently, all the Phoenix Wright stuff went up on the YouTube channel. So if you want to watch the entirety of the Phoenix Wright trilogy, me go through that and fucking lose my mind. <laughs> I love Phoenix Wright. I want to play Great Attorney, but uh, the Great Ace Attorney, but I don't want to do it during October, right? Rentaro's birthday is October 3rd. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch. I wish my birthday was in October, but it's not. And it sucks. I like the fall. It's my favorite season. But, um, yeah. So, that's gonna be it for the stream. How long have I been streaming? Five hours and 30 minutes. Jesus, fuck. So, next time we come... Well, you know what? Let me not say that. Because I'm having... Right now, I'm having someone help me out with something for Corpse Party. But it might not be done by the next stream, so if it's not Corpse Party next time, I don't know what the fuck it'll be. It'll probably be some some sort of horror game or some sort of thing to get us in the Halloween mood. It might not be a horror game. You know what I gotta do? I gotta play the DLC for, um, for, uh, whatchamacallit? What is that fucking game called? Uh, Little Nightmare. I gotta play the DLC for the first Little Nightmare, because I played that game last Halloween. And then I would like to do Little Nightmare. There's a lot of horror games I would like to do. I want to get them all done. But, you know, until then, the next stream, well, the next stream that is planned anyways, is going to be on Monday. Um, trying to trying to think about how it works. If you are on the West Coast, well, fuck it, I'm just going to say time zones. Uh, it'll be Monday, 11.30 p.m., around that time, for, uh, for, for, uh, PST, Pacific Standard Time, or P PTT, whatever the fuck it's called. And then 2 o'clock in the morning, 2.30 for EST, right? Very late night stuff, if you live in America, or North America, you know, whatever. So, those are, that's the plan stream next time. I don't know what the hell I'm going to be playing. Hopefully it's Corpse Party. If not, then I'll come up with something. And then, um... Until then, I might stream in between here and there, but it won't be any, like, playthroughs or anything. It'll probably be, like, you know, quick games or something like that if I do stream. So just kind of keep an eye out for that if you're interested. And that's pretty much it for me when it comes to Twitch, really. Uh, so, if you guys are watching live, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it for those who showed up live. It makes it more fun for me. For those watching the VODs, I hope it's entertaining, right? I try my best, but my best isn't good enough, <laughs> unfortunately. And then for those watching on YouTube, try and catch it live here on Twitch. It's in the description below, along with my Twitter. You can follow that if you feel free to. And then, yeah, because people on YouTube don't get the playthroughs until I finish the live streams on Twitch, so there's that and yeah also on youtube like comment subscribe it helps the channel out gets us more notoriety so more people can see it so i can be able to do more things later i need support please help me please help me but yeah so as always i want to say thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next video stay happy Stay healthy and take care.